Mm. And here we are. Here we are. Ladies here and gentlemen. Live, baby. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon. Well, Friday night. And a lot of news really just today got dropped, actually, quite a bit. So not a beer, saw, folks. Ooh. It's just water. It's just the water for people who are human dirt bikes. Cool. Human dirt bike human water. Dirt bike. Even a little bit of human dirt bike water. Oh yeah. I'll just be drinking water. Normal, the normal water. Yeah, I got water plus. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty he cool. Water DLC, Ian. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he did like the battle pass for water. Battle. So he has the cool can, cool cosmetic change for water, you know? Um, we are live. No, we got some cool stuff to go over tonight. Um, I'm pretty... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, guys, we're going to be talking all about the Hellfire Gala that was just kind of spoiled on Facebook today. Uh, it was. And then we also have a little fun video from Scott Porter where he talks about a new map that's going to be prizing at Hero Hooks for Huntington's this year, as well as he mentions the legacy figure and goes over kind of one of the traits that it has. Uh, and this legacy figure is, of course, one that Matt Reed, Spencer White, and myself got to choose for winning fellowship last year at Hero Coaster Huntington's. I was super stoked that we got to do it. Um, there's a fun buzz going around. I think that's, Miles, you're saying I, I got no audio. I'm hearing it through, like, I'm not running it through this. I'm running it through a computer off screen. I'm hearing it through our stream. So um, I think we're good. I think that might be on your end, Miles, uh, because I can hear it through our stream that's yeah. playing right here, and, like, I can see it that also almost, running on that. curious here. Pull it up on your phone. You tell me. Yeah. I can, I think I can Miles, you're saying I, I Yeah, know. I can hear it. I can hear everything. So mm -hmm. if you don't have any audio problems, uh, there's two buttons on the side of your phone. Uh, the <laughs> top one makes it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kidding. It's mm. Miles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just having a bit of McConnell says, I hear you guys. Joke. We hear you too, McConnell. Yeah, hey, I hear you. I we hear you, McConnell. You. <laughs> the, anyway, sorry to interrupt. The both. least. I said sorry to interrupt. Continue. I actually meant it too. Oh, did you actually? Oh, wow. I know. So, rarely, yeah. rarely I'm. Uh, we were just talking about, once again, sorry. talking about the legacy card. Uh, yeah, so we got to choose 036 from What If, the Captain America from that set. Uh, Scott goes over it a little bit in the video. I'm not going to say any new information that he talks about, but I will talk a little bit about uh, what we wanted to do with the legacy card. So I talked to Spencer and Matt. Matt is a very new player uh, just for the last couple of years, so he doesn't know how far back we should reach. He, you know, he only kind of started playing around like, like, ugh, slightly before Rise and Fall, you know, like Just League, some, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. I don't really know, but so he he didn't really have any choices. And I kind of said, well, what are all of our favorite characters? You know, Spencer's favorite is like Doctor Strange, mine's Captain America, Matt's is like Deadpool and and Hulk. So we were just kind of talking about a few different characters, but, you know. I won't lie, when you get a chance to make something in Hero Clicks, or at least choose something to be made, uh, it's easy to go the route that, like, the Critical Clicks guys did, where they wanted to put themselves straight, like, quite literally put themselves in the game. We didn't quite want to do that, um, but there was one choice where we were like, what if we did try to sneak ourselves in the game? So one of our first legacy choices before we settled on Captain America was President Lex Luthor, and he was going to make American Patriot bystanders, um, and they were going to be, like, a cowboy... Something for Matt Reed, like a strong man. And then Spencer wanted to be like a mafioso type of a character. That got nixed. Um, and then we started talking with lead of design, Brian Galley, about everything, about what we could choose and all this stuff. And I'm not, again, not going to really say what those conversations were. Uh, but at one point, I was like, what if we did like Deadpool from Web of Spider Man? Because I, I, mean, I love that piece. A lot of people. That was love the that, that was figure. the first piece you I know. spent like big money on. Like Web of Spider Man, Deadpool. I was, I think I was like fourteen or fifteen. I paid fifty bucks. Did you really? Super and the rare. guy, it was crazy. The guy sent me a note in the, I mean that was back when super rares were like really. Yeah. There were no chases really at the time. There were. It's not really. Yeah, in Spider Man. You know, Spider Man technically the cause of Spider Man yeah. and Spider Hulk and the the doppelganger were, but they were marked as super rares. But okay. anyway, in the. <laughs> In the box that the Deadpool was sent in, the guy wrote a letter saying, like, this is one of my favorite figures. I hope it's going to a good home. And I was like, damn. And then I can like consistently balled out with that figure. So it did. So the guy who sold me that Deadpool years ago to my mom's eBay when I was like 15, <laughs> it went to a great home. The Great Lakes Avengers went undefeated Dude. for two months at my venue. Yeah. In the Infinity Gauntlet. Put some era. respect in the Great Lakes Avengers. So don't you worry. Yeah. Anyway. 
So that was <laughs> that was one that was one of our top picks. And then at the time we kind of learned that we could not choose Deadpool. Um, and now I know. Uh, it probably makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense now because probably the ship had already sailed on legacy cards that could work for a Deadpool set. So basically, we kind of had to fit choose a character that would fit within the parameters of a DC set and a Marvel set that was coming up without really even knowing what the sets were. So it was a lot of throwing things kind of at Brian, seeing like what figures would work. And we we ended up coming down to, to two. So I won't go, I don't know, I won't go too crazy into why we decided on Captain America. A lot of people are saying that I just kind of forced everybody to do it. I promise you, I didn't. They were honestly like, I bet you just, like, yeah, you make Captain America, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Really, genuinely. They were like, yeah, yeah, you just did. So, you know, I kind of was like, Endgame is one of my favorite movies ever, right? It's like probably second favorite Marvel movie just behind Winter Soldier. It's really good. So I wanted to, yeah. I'm not doing anything. Oh, okay. I thought you were still doing Look it. Look how paranoid he is this evening, folks. Man behind the curtain. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> I kind of asked Brian, I was like, how, how endgame-y could we make Cap? Because to me, like that's like one of the best moments in superhero anything. Yeah, I mean, what's the point, point of this if you can't? Exactly, yeah. So I was like, I don't want to choose. So we only get to choose a figure. We don't get to necessarily choose what it does. We can spitball ideas, and we can pray, and we can do whatever. Wow. But we don't get to tell you what it does. So it kind of came down to two figures. It came down to this Captain America, where I'm like, if we can make him endgame related, like really heavily reference endgame, then we really, we all agree we wanted to do this. But then if it wasn't that, uh, it was going to be Captain Iron America, who is also just a beautiful, beautiful sculpt. And one, a figure that I think deserves a legacy card, because also... I don't know if he's up there anymore. I think oh, I no, him, yeah, I him that's like right. Captain America we, we used those for something, and he got moved. Yeah, yeah he's not there anymore. So we... It was between him and Iron America, and Iron America is just like a stunning looking figure that was always just not quite good when he came out. But like he was yeah. really cool. He had a neat Lots idea. Lots of opportunities, because all the specials on his dial. Yeah. So and then yeah, there's a lot you could do with him. So we just kind of had to ask him, like, if we choose this Captain America, can he be like very heavily endgame inspired? Uh, he said, Yeah, that's not a problem at all. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So then yeah, we chose this one. And the ability Scott read was that so this Captain America is gonna be 75 points. He's like 100 or 100, he's 100 he's normally. 100. So he's 75 points, and then if God, he's bad. Oh, he's so bad. Oh, he was so bad. I like God. played this piece once when it came out, which is wild for Captain America, but he was literally horrible. The captain was a lot better. Mm -hmm. He was 110 points. Still not great though. Are you talking uh, about the chase the captain? No, 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 no. Not no. the chase the captain, the uh, L E for what if. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. I did play the chase the captain a lot. I thought he was sick, even though he, he was... He was not great either. No, he was not good. He dropped, like, a nine attack. Yeah, dude, like, he dropped low. Mm. He had no willpower. I'm like, really? Yeah. Captain America picking up Mjolnir doesn't get Indom? He's also, like, 170? Like, 72 points. Yeah, something weird. Good. Something goofy. So we decided on this Captain America, and then that, that first trait, I threw out a ton of bystanders that I wanted it to make, so I don't know what all is going to be in there. But the trait's called On Your Left. Scott probably read it in the video, and I'll just kind of, I know how he read it. So uh, it's On Your Left, and then when there are more opposing characters, there are more figures on an opposing force than yours, you, Captain America has, like, free make all the bystanders on his card. And then Scott Porter said he makes at least two bystanders. So fingers crossed. I don't know how many were able to get in there. I kind of shot a ridiculous amount of them. Uh, but you, if you can kind of use your imagination... The scene where Falcon says, on your left, you kind of know what happens. Captain America's outnumbered, and then he brings in all the boys. Well, all hopefully boys we get a back. nice drop, you know, very akin to your play style as well. Know, very drop squad. That's what I'm really hoping where for. Where we GL up, you know, drop off Cap, and then he's generating like eight people. <laughs> I know, how sick of it, right? Just like, boom, make a bunch of bystanders. That would be super cool. And, and we're fighting. So that's all we know about Legacy Cap so far. Uh, I really hope, I don't know if whenever the set gets closer, that maybe we can get a preview. That'd be really cool. But for right now, I'm really excited that people are excited about it. Um, I love that it is going to have a very heavy endgame theme to it. I think Cap deserves it. I think he's like the standout character in endgame. And we deserved an endgame set. Didn't get an endgame or Infinity War set. So if that can kind of yeah, live no, through this, I'm No okay MCU Thanos being in clicks is... Uh, Dude, it's such like, a Thanos with the glaive, it's like, give me that. And give him, like, a seven printed damage. That is... Like, let him throw the glaive. Exactly. Yeah, yeah dude. Let him just, like, whip yeah. that thing. That's what I would like so, yeah. to see. But unfortunately... That's, uh... Oh, wait. 
Cold, isn't that the legacy card in there right now? Whoa! You're right, Ian. That is the legacy card in there right now. Holy smokes. That's right, guys. Check this out, guys. I actually... We have a copy of the legacy card. <laughs> no, we don't. It's an ID card. It's an ID card. But no, when you put this in there, I'm like, that's actually kind of a cool idea. It if you have the nice. ID card for the character you're displaying, it's kind of fun. It would be wild if Instead we had a of copy like, of it, but no. That was, that was a joke, guys. Well, yeah. Quite literally, we do not. We don't have a copy of the legacy card. Nothing in the hands. But wait, no, there's still nothing. Nothing in the sleeves. Nothing. nothing. These are, I'm actually wearing sleeves right now. Oh, just wow. the color of my skin. <laughs> Very tan sleeve. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, that's the legacy figure. I hope you guys are excited about it. I, I can't wait. Uh, it's a ways out. It's a pretty. If you thought like Dan Powell's Wheels of Vengeance Iron Man felt like it was a ways out, it's a ways, it's out. A ways out. It's a ways out. Uh, so far in advance, we really don't have the card for it. So. Sorry, just jumped in. Where is the legacy card from? Don't know yet. <laughs> uh, well, we, it was. It also wasn't like previewed officially yet. But uh, if you go to the WizKids channel, there's a video of it. Scott Porter talks about some aspects of it, and that's about it. Yeah. Is Pretty it from an upcoming set? Yes. Yes. Or is it an exclusive thing? Well, I don't think it's an exclusive thing. I think it's. I. The way well, that Dan's was done in Wheels of Vengeance. Dan's was, wasn't his the online exclusive, and then it was in the... Oh, it was in the Play at Home kit. It was in the Play okay, at Home so kit. maybe it's in a Play at so Home So I don't know. So they've never released a Legacy card outside of a box topper or a Play at Home kit. So a lot of people saying, like, is it going to be a rock-only legal thing? No. Yeah. It's going to be a real product. It's a real thing. It's going to be a real thing that's real playable deal. at every they... tournament. Uh, whether that means it's part of the 12 or so that are put on the box topper, or it's part of, like, the one that goes in a Play at Home kit, I have no idea. Um... But Mostly. it's going to be a real thing that comes in a real hero click set. A real box of yeah. cereal. A real bagos. Yeah. A real bagos. <laughs> yeah, a real bagos. Bago Captain America legacy card. I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. I'd be okay getting a bag yeah, of these. Getting twelve of them. Yeah. Getting twelve Captain 12. America ID cards. Oh gosh. Wasn't his, his came with the round table, didn't it? No, Iron Man did. Oh, Ant Man did. That was it. Yeah. Oh really? Ant Man came with the round table. The rest were in boosters. Where, what is this from? Age of Ultron set. Oh. A U I D one o three. Man, I really don't remember. <laughs> 101 was Ant-Man. I think 102 was Iron Man. And then 104 was like Hulk and somewhere else mm -hmm. after that. Yeah. Uh, for everyone who said hello, hello, guys. Hello. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, there's some fun stuff. We've got some stuff to give away per usual. I mean, what's a stream without a little party favor, right? That's true. That's uh, very true. This week was a fantastic one for a lot of reasons. But one of those reasons is thanks to uh, Jackson and Miles in the chat. Where we were able to work out a nice three-way deal for some trade-in. And uh, I have finally completed my set of Masters of Evil. I finally got the ever-so-underwhelming skull <laughs> of Mephisto. But wow, I'm just uh, I'm happy to be done chasing him. Because it felt like a long time. I should have just bought yours when you had one. But I didn't know that I would be going on this goose hunt. So, I'm excited to play him. I'm excited to feel them. And honestly, even like with... Uh, potentially like rotation leaving him out that's another thing we could talk about tonight is that's a wild rotation thing. line it's, it's kind of up in the air right now where it feels like rotation sure as heck just i'm the avengers 60th it could be crazy to me. and if that's the case eh, so be it uh i'll be happy to use him in silver Dang. uh i think he's still very much a threat I mean, yeah, in silver <laughs> he's crazy good so that was some great great news um i don't know i'm trying to think of anything else Oh, other than that, HeroClix related. Oh, well, we've got some but Project Butterflies as well. We did get some Project Butterflies which is nice. to check Courtesy out. of WizKid. You they haven't did, seen uh, the preview video on those. Over. We already have a preview video up on the yeah. channel. Peacemaker double icon of unboxing, so check that out. Yeah, Pretty insane figures in Project Butterfly. Kind of nuts. I know Miles also, again, to reference him, is a big fan of Mern. I don't know how you can't be. The Dancing Peacemaker is insane. The Butterfly is insane for cheating people on like select keywords. And Judo Master, who is probably, you know, like, the worst of the bunch, is still just, like, crazy good. Yeah. Like, this is, a, for $30, I mean, this is, in my opinion, um, like, probably as meta as Kong is. Like, yeah. Mern is, Mern is very, absurd. It's very fair. And also Peacemaker, I mean, I think, you know, a new standard for defensive shells is Dancing Peacemaker. Oh, Where it's dude, like, 100%. if you want to do damage to me, nah, it's not going to happen. Um, being able to like enabling teams to like move up and go immune 
is going to be so so cool for yeah. setting up new strategies like i think there's a lot of new interesting like turn twos to be yeah. evaluated like it completely shifts the landscape of i go first i bash you first it's yeah. like but do you yeah but do you and so that plus Mern being able to say like i can shoot you through anything shoot that guy <laughs> shoot. Yeah. Shoot that guy behind the wall, behind the rock, behind uh, the TV, behind the Yeah, the, dude, the Mern just letting you see through everything is truly wild. Maybe it's not, like, exactly Kong level, but these figures are going to enable so much. Um, I think even if you're not a fan of the Peacemaker show, like, which, how is how that even possible? Be? How can you not be? Uh, it's it's so a set good. worth picking up. It is. It's so good. Economos with the chainsaw sculpt makes me so it's happy. Cool. Yeah, that one is pretty cool. cool. Uh, that somewhere. one's the Wings of Eagly, right? That is Wings of Eagly. That's in the yeah. first one. And that is he steals vigilante's thunder with the chainsaw oh. vigilante wanted to use the chainsaw and john economos the glue is oh rip it's <laughs> ripping i don't want to mess it up it's really dude it's really on there really on there. see what i'm saying yeah i do see what you're saying oh wow <laughs> anyway he's in there there wow. you go Jeez. really sealing that yeah, up well <laughs> So that Velcro point. is like, uh, yeah. It's this like, one um, not as like meta defining, but more impressive. It's a very sculpt solid. Wise. Very yeah, I like the sculpts yes. a lot more in this one. Uh, I like Eagly. I think Vigilante is hilarious. It's two hundred ninety five points to play that whole set. Did you this one that? really? Oh wow! Yeah, that's what Four Slippy just said. He's been playing it. That's sick, man. Oh, then that's actually so awesome. Because yeah. yeah, he does get the helmet free and everything. So yeah, I can't wait to get my Project Butterfly. Yeah, Project Butterfly is so 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 legit. Um. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this one, my favorite piece in it is uh, Eagly. <laughs> I mean, just having a. I love, I love Peacemaker. Peacemaker's the man. Oh, toss that back there. It's, yeah, it's a really fun set. I love that it, like, makes a nice team, too. 295 points. That's really awesome, mm -hmm. actually. They're all Suicide Squad then, too. It all just kind of works. Oh, yeah. Right hey, yeah. There you go. So that's actually really cool. I can't wait to play them. We have not been able to play normal constructed in weeks, in like a month, like months. Because yeah. even on Sunday for our Chase Booster, they're going to do, they have like three Chase Boosters. They're going to do mm. a Battle Royale for Chase Boosters. And I'm just like, oh, why? Please let me build construct. They're really, they're really going full casino. Dude, dude, they're going full. Could be a Conchu, could be a baby group. Could be a baby group. You could be playing could be, could be a group. with a Madison Rare. You could be playing with Moon Knight. I know. Dude. After Adepticon, I mean. I don't want to play any more seals. No. But like, man, mm -hmm. I, I want to try to get a Chase Booster. I still have yet to, like, win a Chase Booster. Yeah. So. Uh, Next yeah. phase was. Uh, I played. I did play a seal. It's a tough VR set, man. It can be an open a pack and just be like, oh, geez, kind of set. It can also be an open a pack and go, all right, well, I'm going to take this one home pretty easily. I know, yeah. It's, so, such, a, it's such a weird. It's nice when there's equal yeah. footing, but there are a lot of times where there aren't, and then that makes for. I mean, like subpar BR experiences. Yeah. I give this like it's like a five out of ten BR set, oh, and you know that's not a great metric set. to judge a set on. Like next phase is a fine set, but as far as BRs go, it's not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, we did play sealed last night, and that one was one Wheels of Vengeance booster and then one Disney Plus booster. I actually got a really good team out of that, but then somebody pulled Moon Knight and then somebody pulled Kafan, so it was like awesome. Ah. Cool. Like, so my team was Blackheart, Super Arcade Bishop. Imagine getting the, the like, Moon Knight, Kanchu, and Kathan so you could double empower. <laughs> that would be miserable. That'd be oh my so funny. gosh, dude. That'd be so Tim double possessed. Ugh. This, this Moon Knight's it's dirty. juice, it's dude. Dirty. Ugh, gross. So, yeah, like, I had a good team, though. I had, like, Blackheart. I played him at full. I had the gray hoodie Hulk. And then I had Super Arcade Bishop. And then Hell Cycle on Hulk. Gave him Mystics and Lee Climb plus two speed and then Night Nurse. And I was like, I've got a That's good a pretty now. good team. Yeah. Uh, and then I just couldn't, yeah, I can't beat Moon Knight. Just could not no. beat Moon Knight, which blew my mind. You know, it was just rough. The way the, way the yeah. cookie crumbles, as they say. No. Hey, Emily, how are you? Gracie says it's a good team for the, I believe, in reference to oh, the, the Peacemaker set yeah. being all whatever. I believe yeah. that. That's something I want to try. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the surprise inter or the surprise equipment was an interesting surprise too. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, it's just the card. I know they've done yeah, that in the past the with the Spider-Man set, but you know the that custom community true. can help you out. Yeah. Can't wait for the cup. I mean, Dial H, too. Dial H can help you out because you join our Patreon. We also do have a Peacemaker helmet I token you, that's right. uh, that can kind of show you where it is on the map and kind of equip it to people. So if you want to support us on Patreon, 
Mm-hmm. Five bucks a month gets you access to Discord and a bunch of other really cool stuff as well as those fun tokens. Anyways, we <laughs> trying to plug out of here. Just, you know, if you like us, you know, support, yeah, you know, want to support us. what we do, be cool. It would be uh, chill. Without you guys, we probably wouldn't have uh, a good chunk of the stuff that we're using right now. Very so, true, yeah. Uh, the camera, the laptop, the mics. Um, we're able to afford a lot of that because, you yeah. know, as you guys know, a lot of this comes out of our own pocket, all the shipping, you know, everything we give away, the tokens we make, the shirts we make. It's all, you know, our own volition, our own passion. So, yeah, it really does help. Um, if you want to give us a dollar, five bucks, whatever, it's cool. If you don't, yes. it's totally fine. Keep watching. Enjoy. Yeah. Nothing against you. Uh, Sealed in general is rough. There's so much support coverage and not many straight-up beat sticks. Yeah, that's kind of how Next Phase feels is that especially the rare slot, it's like getting a Verusa or a Madison or like a Lucky is your rare. And meanwhile, the guy next to you, once again, has something like Moon Knight. It can be particularly difficult. There's also just not a lot of like, there's, there is mobility in the set, but not a lot of it. It's kind of, it's in weird places. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of the BR matches were like, all right, we're going to lock in and see what happens. And then the fight would just kind of stay clumped pretty much unless you there were a couple of brs i was in where they were more range centric that's true for most brs though because they'll kind of stay in one or two major i feel like in more sets you can get like an alpha attack off whereas like sure in this set it feels like i have to move up and hope that i don't die kind of way so it's like you're right in that like things get locked in yeah but this felt like more of like a slow like i have to go in and then you have to meet me there and then we can fight rather Mm -hmm. than i'm just going to come up and shoot you okay and then yeah um, I mean, comparatively to something like X of Swords, I thought X of Swords was actually pretty enjoyable. I like, I thought that was actually a fun BR set. Yeah, I enjoyed the, the three. Except for like when Havoc was in it, and one, two, Rare three, Wolverines, ones. and yeah, Sinister. Obviously Sinister, because we have nightmares. Yeah. But for the most part, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, did it get old after the like 15th one I played? Yes, but I played 15th, so there you go. It's, <laughs> it's so wild that you played that many. I was like, geez, Ian. <laughs> well, I was spamming, though. I had a great time. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I'll get it once I'm at Lucky Dice Cafe. I'll pick up a Peacemaker set. Peacemaker. Yeah, man. Next phase is all about opening a trick arrow so you'd get a deck of cards with it. Heck yeah. Honestly, picking the trick arrows yeah, in VRs. Not a bad hard. idea. Really not a bad idea, honestly. People slept on it. You guys do a bunch for the community. We're here to support you. Keep it up, guys. Thank you, Brandon. We appreciate you. And we also still need to get um, your special package sent off, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah? Yeah, we do. Okay. okay. I thought so. Sorry, it's been a uh, for like today. Uh, we just sent out no all the prizing for San, San Antonio. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Well, I'll fill you in. Not to, yeah, you're not filling me in. I'm pretty sure I could be mixing you up with somebody, Brandon. Um, I don't think I am though. Okay. Let me check. This now I need to check my Facebook messages. Like... You tell them about the stuff you sent off today. Oh boy, I did send off a bunch of stuff today. Uh, the high V. Yeah. No, I'm not this. making a mistake. Oh, you're not. We okay. do. We do. I still need to send okay. you. That was a while ago, Brandon, and I apologize for that. Mm. Uh, So, yeah, I went some stuff to the post office. It was International Player Foundation prizing for the event Mm. in San Antonio, Texas, next weekend, April 28th at Dragon's Lair, but down in San Antonio, Texas, (laughs) not not our Dragon's Lair. So, two ginormous boxes. Ian, what do you think the shipping cost on that big box? Oh, jeez. What do you think it was? Like 45 Oh, not even close. It was $75 for that big box to send out. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, that was what we did last. So, we started off, we did a sets package. <laughs> sets for like 10 bucks, And I was like, really? 10 bucks for, like, for sets? I was like, well, in the world, fine, whatever. 10 bucks, sure. And then she does the next biggest one, which is pretty big. Not as big as the big one. Uh, and she goes, looks like this will be like 20 and I'm like, oh, wow, that's really refreshing. That's inconsistent. Nice. And then she measures it. She goes, oh, actually, it's going to be 35 because of the weird, the, how big it is. And I was like, ah. So then this next one, she's like, and then she texted him, $75. I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't it be? Cool. Let's run. Let's run the car. So two of them were 75 One was 75 One was, 70, one was 35 One was like 10 20, Like 10 sorry. Okay. So 45 75 there you go. $120 worth of So people shipping. in San Antonio, please enjoy. <laughs> people in San Antonio are getting a lot of prizing. A lot of heavy prizing, yeah. I guess. Those Hall of so, Armors yeah. are a pain to ship. Yeah. It's made of real armor, and that's why. It's so heavy. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, the Hall of Armors is actually missile parts that Tony Stark puts together in a cave. Mm-hmm. That's why it's so, yeah. so actually heavy. So yeah, ton, a ton of prizing is going to San Antonio, and I'm if you're around there, very excited about it. Get in contact with yep. the Alpha Strike. Azale, he's hosting the event. They're doing 400 silver in prep for Hero Clicks for Huntingtons. And yeah, I mean, to give you an idea, there's like 
Uh, three Guardians of the Galaxy holiday sets, three Hall of Armors, a case of Batman team up, 16 broadswords, a slew of con exclusives, one of each pizza box. Um, gosh, more con exclusives. Yep. Uh, two retail chase boosters. Yep. Uh, uh, however many Star Fights we could fit in that box. Just shoving Star Fights in there. Shoving Just... them in there. Um, Come on. I think that's about it. There's a picture of it on Facebook. Uh, Go check that out. It's on the IPF. Yeah. As well. Big, big, uh, big prize yeah. post. It actually looks really cool when we have it all displayed up there. So, yeah, check out the prize post on the IPF Facebook page. That's all the stuff you can expect at San Antonio tournament. It's crazy cool. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, uh, let's see. New to the game. Your videos have helped me out a bunch with learning the ins and out. Thanks a bunch. Anytime, Daryl. Right on. Absolutely. Let's see. I hope that goes well for you guys. I tried. I'm right there with you, Daryl. Their videos are great and have helped a bunch for a newbie like me. Hey, well, thank you, Gracie. I yeah. appreciate that. Sounds like Canadian shipping rates. Yeah, dude. When yeah. She's, when I'll she said, think twice about saying it. She said, yeah, it looks like it'll be about 20, 20 bucks. I'm like, oh, perfect. She's like, ah, oh, actually, because the size is 35. And I'm like, all right, cool. Tisk, cool. tisk, tisk. And then when the, when the last one was $75, I was like, why wouldn't it be? Yeah, why yeah. not? Cool. Right real, on. Real Let's do it. Though. Yeah, so <laughs> it was super It was super chill. So I really hope everybody yeah, down there appreciates goodness. the prizing. I really hope they do. Yeah. 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 And as Dale did offer to pay, we were like, nope, that is okay. About it. Um, and believe it or not, yeah. we're not even going to expense it against the IPF. So there you go. Yeah. We're just eating it. It's the way it goes. Because it's not as fun to receive things if you have to pay for shipping. Let's be honest, guys. And, you know, with all this shipping talk, I think I think it's time that we do time to make a little colors, giveaway. Go to the post office next week. Yep. Time to we're make... give something away right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> How lucky is Calder, oh, you might ask? I love going to the post office. I will say this interaction at the post office was much better than a few weeks ago when there was just a massive line. And before anybody says anything about printing labels, no, I'm never going to print labels. No, I'm never literally ever going to do it's that. Not Sorry, I'm literally never going to print labels. I'm never going to waste stuff in my own home to print labels. Not going to happen. So anyways, now I'm going to complain. Uh, yeah, there was a massive line, and I had to ship like three international packages. And I'm like, this is already going to suck. Brandon says he also has no idea what's going on. All right, right, well. Like, yeah. Never mind, Brandon. No, not really. So, I know what I'm talking okay. about. Okay. You know as long as, I know, as long as I know what I'm about. All right. Whoever needs to get whatever they need to get, they get. Uh, but yeah, so I had to ship three international packages. There was an insane line where I'm like, why is there a crazy line? Whatever. I'm taking the time in the line to write out all the stuff you have to do for an international package. I finally get to the front. I go ahead. I She starts the process. You have to type all this stuff out, and it takes just forever. And then I just hear some old guy, like super old guy behind me, like, what the heck's taking so long? And then when they finally open a second till, he goes, he walks next to me and he like grabs my shoulder and he goes, son, just what are you doing? It's taking so long. And I, I didn't know if he was being mean. So I'm like, hey man, I'm just running errands like everybody else. But he's like, but what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, like, these are it's international. Business. These are international <laughs> packages. They just take a while, you know? And he's like, oh, Okay, and I was—I really thought he was gonna be mad at me, and I'm like, "Hey, man, everybody's yeah. just trying to do their errands. Who cares?" Speaking if you're of run, old people whatever. approaching us Ooh. at places, I was eating at Culver's with a friend of mine, had my hat on, of course, and he comes and just stands by the table. I look up, I'm just like, "Hey," <laughs> and he goes, "I have never seen a hat like that. I—that is the coolest hat I've ever seen." I was like, "Well, thank you, sir." He's like, "No, you got to tell me where can I get one." I was like, "Oh, like a bar gave it to me like two years ago." <laughs> And I was like, but hey, let me do some homework because I felt like I'd found it online. So then I found a link to purchase it. And I was like, what's your phone number, man? I'll send you the link. So I sent it over to him. And then he texted me the next morning. Uh, like well, an order or whatever of it? He texted me the next morning. Give me one second. It was very sweet, honestly. He said, I just ordered the hams cap. Thanks again for your help. I really appreciate it. So we've made another star, another cap. So wild. It's funny because earlier in the day, that same friend. God, so wild. And he's like, he's like, dang, you're still wearing that hat. I was like, it, I'm telling you, it's magic. Like, you know, like Calder's witnessed it. I have. And then we really go to Culver's happened. like an hour later, and that happens. And when he walked away, I just went. It's so <laughs> he's just like, all right, I can see the point. <laughs> so uh, that was, you know, shout out old people. That's the shout thing. out old people. But uh, they're Howie. All their ways. I'm getting a call from the banker. Oh, the banker. The banker's calling me. We have one case left. So you actually don't have a choice. Okay. <laughs> so. No, I'm, I'm not going to say that on the live stream, banker. Not That's really rude. Anything for the case. This is the case I have to choose. This is the case. It's not like I have an offer for my case. It's just, 
It's for the stream. It's for the stream. Right? Okay. So this is for the stream. This is the, the streams. Stream the stream's case. case. The case for the stream. The stream's case. So you just want me to open up the, the case? I think if we could open up the case. Or do we do we do the giveaway before we see what's in the case? Do we ever oh. do that? Oh, we could. We could. Do we ever do that in the world? Hmm. Hmm. We did say surprise giveaway. We did say surprise giveaway. So maybe we do leave it as a surprise. Hmm. Oh, let's see. I'll be honest, I need that Firestorm shirt. Yeah, dude, this is sick. It's fire. <laughs> Thank you, man. As I really like said. it. It really is cool. That Batman box is a piece of art. Yes, and you can get your very own from Craftworks Forge. Check them out on Etsy. Hope you have the right Brandon. I do have the right Brandon. Whatever. Hands on. Having, having a good time. Anyway, guys. Uh, I don't know. We'll do it in our typical way where we have you guys comment something, but uh, I don't know what that is. Um, how Let's about see. how about we have them take a guess at? We will not reveal the answer okay. to this, but how about we have them take a guess at how many Starro fights are in our house, and whoever gets the closest uh, wins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is what we'll do, yeah. guys. Uh, right. Rough That's estimate. Rough. Do you want to? I'll type it out. I'll type out my rough estimate. Yeah, I believe. Let me get a timer going. Do we want to give them a minute? I think it's at, it's probably More. probably like right around this. Is that where it's at after we did whatever? After these. Okay, sure. Because it was like you know it was like probably probably this many give or take after tournament and uh my, the ones that my guess, yeah, in addition right. to the other ones that were i guess i was seeing the running and then in my mind so yeah. i guess these are still in our house so they count they so still in our house. this is probably the answer then okay so that's what we're that saying that sounds fair yeah let's go with that okay okay you guys have let's do what one minute oh they've already started so we're starting well, they've already minute. started yep starting minute minute guess, guess however many how many star, star fights, fights are in our house. house the closest uh person wins whatever's in here oh my god did you know, uh, fun fact, uh, Space Coast Coast to Coast is like 30 years old or something? It was, This yeah. year, and then uh, they were doing a live stream on the Cartoon Network. YouTube yeah, the creator of Space today. Coast, Adult Swim, screwed over, and now he works for Amazon. That so is it's actually kind of sad. Dang. Yeah, I know. Yeah, dang, I, I'm not the Rain Lion Parade, no. That uh, that's what, like, made Adult Swim, and they really screwed. Like, the same guy created, like, Sea Lab 2021. Um, yeah. And, yeah, they... Uh, hmm. They really screwed him over, so it's a bummer. I mean, I love that show, but yeah, Adult Swim. Price is right. Rules. I kind of hold you to it. Price is right. Do some rules, research Brian. into that, well, guys. I don't no, want to talk we'll about that. Let's go with the closest. We don't have to go Price is Right rules. Just whatever's no. closest. Whatever, whatever is closest, we yeah. will. We have a. We have a few. We have a. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. That is the that is the timer is going. So, oh, we'll, we'll give it. A few seconds for any last second guesses, but I, if not, I think plus ultra seba. Wow, with twenty eight is the well, that's is the last that's person. Funny. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, dude. Crazy. That is that's really crazy. Funny. Um. All right. Well, I know who the winner is. Yeah, we know who the winner is. Yeah. So before we announce the winner, why don't we see what they have? Won? Let's see what's in the case. So let's open we? up the box. And in the box. Oh is. my goodness! A couple of things. Oh. Once again, this is made by Craftworks Forge. Oh. We have a convention exclusive Joker. <laughs> what a surprise! And a broadsword construct wow. as well. Wow! So the winner is walking away with some pretty good prizing. And what was that, Colder? You thought that was it for the prizing because it was just in the case? I do think it was just what was in the case because we had. No. Oh, you're kidding! There are a lot in this house, folks. There are a lot, there and I'm are sure. A lot. For the people who guessed 28, 43, 28 again, 33, sorry, you're way off. You're way off. I will say who the closest person was. It might shock you. Um, God, should I even say who the closest person was? I don't know. I think we'll just get in contact with the closest person, shall we? And yeah. we'll just do that because it's, 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 it's an a number. absurd it's amount. It's a number. It's a big number. Yeah, I don't even want to. Yeah. So the person who won. Uh, we will message you. We'll message you right after this. But somebody did win. Someone did win. It feels disingenuous to uh, it does to not it announce. So we'll just say it. Yeah, Miles Kane, congratulations! <laughs> you have won the Joker, and you have won a broadsword, broad sword, and, and you won even more sorrow fights because you won the random draw like you won last, the last week. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Was it yeah. close to Miles' number? Maybe. Was it 
Closer than the other numbers? Yes. Yes. It was li- <laughs> mostly it was closer than the other numbers. Mostly it was. Yeah. Mostly it was closer than the other numbers. A lot of the other numbers were under, they were only double digits, which is truly wild. That anyone would ever, <laughs> ever assume something like that. Rylan says, huh? huh? And huh yeah. is right. <laughs> huh is right. Um, Miles you Kane, notice... you now have 24 Sorrow cards. Yes, you do. He sent you 12 already. So we here's did. some more. He's a bit of a Starro guy, though. That's a lot of Starro fights. Yes, it is a lot of Starro fights. Enjoy the broadsword. Enjoy the Joker as well. Yeah. This is all, once again, courtesy of WizKids. The Bago figures are a ton of fun. They were able I to give like us um, a lot. A lot. Some would say cool. potentially too many. <laughs> you think so? Eh, maybe. Uh. Yeah, probably. So, guys, if you can, t- uh, if you tune in the live stream, you see surprise giveaway. You can take a good bet on this being one of the surprises. And surprise! You can almost guarantee. Yeah, we've got another oh, set to give away. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is this our double or nothing? Should or we do it? We... Should we do a double or? Okay, <laughs> chat. What do you guys think? Do we do a double or nothing for twenty-four Star fights with Miles, or? Do we just raffle off? I think I think the chat would rather have somebody else try to win more yeah. Star fights than double it. As funny as it would to double or nothing and give Miles a total of thirty six Star fights, <laughs> uh, I think I think we just do this. Are yeah. you telling me you could build a house out of those Star fights? I'm telling you, I've already bought the plot of land. <laughs> I'm probably the biggest Star fan. That's honestly like true. If you guys don't know, uh, Miles is part of the Generation Clicks. Yeah. He just made a. I don't want to ruin his thunder, so I'm not going to talk about yeah. the team. But he the made a shirt though. of Starro holding Mjolnir with Thor's hat. That is for sale. Check out the Generation Clicks on cool. Facebook. I'll share the link on uh, Bile H as well later here. Mm. I already ordered a shirt. We already know. <laughs> it's it's so funny. And if you guys want to hear more about why Starro is holding Mjolnir, uh, you'll have to listen to Miles on his podcast. Dig in deep, but. His Hero Clicks for Huntington's team is my favorite. It's who I'll be rooting for at home. Uh, my plan is to wear that shirt on the day that he's playing underneath my work clothes that day. I'll be oh, working. No. And uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be in support Wishing here. Until, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, somebody's saying double. Oh, wow. We're Give them to Miles. He is the biggest Star Wars fan. Oh, man. Was there a way to win these I wasn't aware of? I thought you got 12 when you buy eight starters. That was That there. is how you get them, but they were given to us by WizKids for our IPF tournaments and other IPF events. So and then just general prizing as and well. And just general prizing. So that's why we were able to get so many as they were given to us for prizing to give out. But yes, normally the way you get a hold of Star Fights, like the Bango Spider-Man, the Star Fights, when you buy eight of a starter or whatever, you also got a bunch of these. This is true. People are people are saying double or nothing on Miles. I, we'll double, so, we'll double or nothing. Oh we'll, get, we'll get Miles potentially another set of twelve. Now we just have to think of a double or nothing question. Hmm. hmm. I almost. Oh, what I'm thinking. They totally can't. They totally can't, can't hear us. They can't see us. They can't, see us. <laughs> they can't hear us. Dude. No, no, yeah, yeah. Can't believe it. Yeah, there's no way. Cool. They're idiots, dude. They're so silly. <laughs> Uh, okay, Miles, let's think of something. And then after this, we will do a review of the gala set, which is very exciting. I'm, I'm, oh, really yeah, we haven't talked about the gala set yet. No, we oh haven't talked about the gala set. I can't wait to talk about the gala set. I think it's really cool. I really like it. But um, double or nothing for Miles. Double or nothing. Do we do a. What's a Dial H trivia question? I know, I was trying to give a Dial H trivia question. Mm-hmm. If you could say. Our favorites. I mean, uh, who sang the Peacemaker song? Do you think he? I don't know. Would you know that? Would anyone really have information to who sang the Peacemaker? It's it's song? in the video. It's written. There. I guess it is. I don't want to give him something he could look up. I want to yeah, some like some deep cut true. dial deep age. Deep cut more, dial age. You know. Mm. What I almost want to say like, what was my favorite shake when I went to Chicago? You <laughs> my favorite shake that I had. That's a Chicago. deep cut. I mean, wild. All right, Miles, you can tell him that while we think of something else. Uh, yeah, if you do that, maybe. You should make it super easy. You have like six hundred. I mean, let's not be crazy. Hey, hey, six hundred. That. that was we didn't we didn't. Yeah. Come on, we're not that insane. Oh, no. So you just. Wow, that's four funny. Star fights attached. Them attached. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> hmm. Oh, so you could do an event where you recreate the Ooh. scene from Suicide Squad? <laughs> that's good. That we probably... 
Oh, yeah. What's Simeon's favorite gas station? Yeah. Pizza? What's Simeon's favorite Good gas one, station? Good one, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Miles, if you can tell us that. Simeon, Simeon has been often heard going, yippee! Um, <laughs> skipping, into this skipping into this gas station. Skipping into this gas station. We should go there after this live stream. Honestly. I'm down. We deserve it's it. It's that kind of night. It's yeah. Friday night. You know what? Yeah. So, Miles, tell us. Uh... Oh, Miles. Okay, we're not going to count that answer. That's nope. so objectively wrong. Oh. Oh, it's yeah, so you're... objectively wrong, Miles. That's like... Make it an Evil Dead question. Oh, Call make it an cowboy... Evil Dead question? <laughs> costume. <laughs> called out. Wow. It's a co how called is it a costume. Out. How is it a costume? Calder cosplays. Is... A... Can't wait to do my Calder Ness cosplay. People have. People have. I'm just wearing an all leather suit. People have. <laughs> People have cosplayed as Calder Ness. I don't know. Miles, have you ever seen Bill, it was Ness? not a question for you. Not a question for you, Bill. Please do not answer. Please, Please Miles. Just ruin the legitimacy of this mm -hmm. question. Thank you, Bill. This is about Miles. Here. Wow, Bill. Wow, Bill. That's your favorite shake, Miles? Ah, I used to have respect for you, Miles. But Sprinkles ruins ice cream. Now we need a new doubler now. For ah, sprinkles, is, sprinkles are so bad. Mm -mm -mm. No offense, Miles. Uh, I love you, Miles. Uh, what was Aquaman's first cover appearance? Do you think he'll get that? Yeah, I think he like told me that. Oh, night. did he? Okay, because it's straight up. It's not when he actually... Yeah, what's Aquaman's first, first cover appearance? What's his cover appearance? Because his first appearance is like Justice League number one or something like that. What's Aquaman's first cover appearance? I'm going as Blonde Calder for Halloween. <laughs> you, you look that's, an era, like that's an era we can forget about. We don't need to bring up Blonde uh, I have blonde some good Calder. videos of that. It was fun. Do you? No. I know there's one where it's like there's You're rap standing music. outside. Yeah. <laughs> With the, the, yeah. The flippers on or the slippers on. My, my slippers. My, my aunt wants slide, slide yeah. dude. <laughs> you're kidding me? Your Jordan. Your Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so beat up. Uh, what like, do you mean? They're so beat up. It's like a dog got they're after them, bro. So mean. <laughs> they're great. Come on, bro. I had them. I had these for years. I How know. could they possibly be beat up? <laughs> dang. Oh, okay, Miles. I was actually just looking at my my First Lex appearance. Luthor tennis shoes, and I was like, dang, these tennis shoes are nasty. I gotta get new tennis shoes. Like, yeah. Because they they were like they're like my gym shoe and my work shoe, and I'm like, oh man, these are gross. Yeah, you can't double up there. No, no. Gym really shoes can't. gotta stay crispy. I know, dude. They're like, uh, what's it called? Where they meet the heels, like almost trying to peel. I'm like, oh, oh I gotta really? get new shoes. Yeah, they're bad. <laughs> dang, I've had that happen where the glue comes loose. And the yeah, yeah. Shoe starts talking. Oh. To be fair, that's a pretty easy fix, though. There's glue they make mm. for that. I got all kinds of glues in my Miles, head. do we have an answer for I know, the first Miles, appearance, that first of, cover Aquaman? appearance of Aquaman? First cover appearance of Aquaman. We can get you 12 more. Oh, the banker's calling. The banker's calling. Oh, man. Yeah, no, he won't give us an answer. Okay. No, this is ridiculous. Yeah, no, we're waiting on Miles to say right now. I'm going as Fridge Luke, like, in Brainiac. <laughs> I'm going as Fridge Luke bathing in Brainiac and Lex for Halloween this year. Oh, yeah, that was a good picture. The first online IPF tournament, there's that picture of Luke, Jeez. which led to a hilarious story of finding a Brainiac Dude, behind, behind our no, couch. Actually, so this, well, actually, now it's kind of getting into the wall now. Yeah. yeah, never mind. Um, more, more fun first approach or appearance showcase number 30. Can we get a fact check on that? Was it actually just more fun? Was the name of DC's Tales of Lame Fish Guys number one? Ravage, you are uh, savage, dude. You are looking to fight Miles here with that comment. You are really looking for some uh, some heat. It was showcase. It was showcase number thirty. All right, Miles. Well, double or nothing. We'll have another package sent off. It has. Us. It's also, I guess, maybe the first cover appearance of Aqua Lad. We see him riding a dolphin. So we see Aquaman being super cool, riding a dolphin. On that is show. actually. That really actually is. Cool. I'm not even being like. Mean not even Aquaman. hating. That actually Aquaman. is kind of cool. It's really dope. More fun is issue 47 of Showcase or of Aquaman. What's Aquaman 47 look like? Oh, we're fighting Tuesday. <laughs> Miles throwing down with Ravage. Whoa. It'll be live streamed. It'll be dope. Oh, I think they must. They must be friends. They must be friends. Oh wait, Ravage. That's yeah. probably Ryan. Is that? Yeah. That yeah. Sounds like Ryan it sounds. Yeah. He's just Aquaman being a little number forty-seven. What Decepticon like. like Yo, away. this is a wild cover. Look at that, Aquaman forty-seven. Dang, that looks insane, dude. Look at this monster, that Barnacle dude. Boy next to him. <laughs> Aquaman. Come on, man. Yeah, Aqualad is Dang. Barnacle he is, Boy. He is Barnacle Boy, though. 
If he was cool, he'd ride a shark. Oh, dang. Oh, 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 shots fired. Anyway, Miles, we'll get you your Joker, your broadsword, your Star of Fights. 24 Miles, count them. 24 Star of Fights. Little, to go to your other 12, you little, already own. Look at this. See, I put the Joker, the broadsword in the middle, and make a little sandwich. It was, ah, mm, delicious. <laughs> the banker told me to do that. So, we'll, well, actually, we'll just. We'll put them over here. Get these Star Fights away from me. And guys, that is official. Uh, we do not have any more Star Fights to give away. This that's now we're done. Street. No more double. We are done. Me. There's no more double or nothings. Sorry, but yeah. let's get into some exciting. Yeah, let's talk about these previews now. Yep. Ryan Redman left his signature. No. signature. no one else could use that emoji. No one else could ever possibly <laughs> do that. Maybe Matt Reed. Oh, Matt Reed's earned that emoji. Well, so well maybe, maybe it. Matt. Reed. Maybe. It has to be green, though, like Hulk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Star Legacy becomes Master Mold. I will be a winner. Uh, mm -hmm. Rat Catcher 2. Excuse yourself, Phil. I thought the, the rat, rat girl. girl. Yeah, I, I won't lie. I was not a fan of how they... Miles Star won Fight. more Star Fights. Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't... I don't really... That's a movie in double. I really liked the cast and the way the characters played off each other in Suicide Squad 2. I just did not like that the fact they used Starro. The Suicide yeah. Squad needs to fight. That was just like tossing away lower tier villains. Tell me to fight Thanos. the biggest galactic threat yeah. that just like just like space besides Dark Side, really? I think it's wild. And like anti monitor. Oh, yeah. oh okay. To be fair, I don't know that much DC, but yeah, besides like anti monitor, Dark Side. Clearly. <laughs> you like Guy Gar? Dude, he rocks. He punched Doctor Manhattan in the face once. It was hey, cool. who punched him in the face though? A lot of people. Batman, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let's talk the gala set. Kicking we'll things off. You want to start with your guy? No. Start with my guy? No. We'll start with start with some people we don't care about. Yeah. Well, we care about them, just not oh, not sorry. as much. Sorry. Boom, guys, check it out. Whoa. Whoa. I do like her sculpt a lot. Uh, seeing yeah, it. Yeah, the cape is sweet. It's really cool that it has like the galactic star prints on the inside. We also have the back of the card, too. We're just going to start at the front. I'm yep. pulling it up on my iPad as well because the computer's kind of far, far away. away, guys. So give us just a moment. But yeah, this figure seems, uh, I think, particularly strong. I don't think she's like absolutely meta defining by she's any stretch. Solid, you know. But yeah, really solid figure. Uh, bow, 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 bow. All the way at the end. Yeah, so we'll move. We'll work our way up. Go. Cool. Yeah, so hypersonic psychic blast shape change. It's a crazy power set. Then you mix that in with a special defense power, uh, which we can just talk about here. It's energy shield deflection impervious. When Captain Marvel rolls a single D6 for impervious willpower, etc., increase the result plus one for each action token she has. Wow. That seems pretty dang strong. So she probably won't be double tokened all that often when she has a three through six willpower once she's double token. That's pretty solid. Yeah, she'll just keep going. She's I got mean, Avengers, I mean, five yeah. range, two targets. Yeah, at 100, uh, she also has improved targeting out of adjacency with double target, which is nice. Uh, this is a figure where I'm going to say I think the 45 point line I'm not particularly interested yeah, in. I, don't, I like the top one. dial here. Yeah. Am I going to be reaching for it every time to play it? Eh, not particularly. And then, uh, so they all have this trait, so we'll read it the one time here, guys. Captain Marvel, or whoever character, starts the game with an invite token. Once per turn for all characters with this trait, when a friendly character with the Avengers keyword attacks, you may remove an invite token from a friendly character to replace a die in their attack roll with a 5. So Avengers now have what the X-Men had, where they can throw a 5 in. And then that triggers a different high fashion trait for each of them, which Captain Marvel has high fashion jacket with starlight interior. Ooh. When a friendly character with the X-Men keyword hits and a 5-5 five five was rolled, which is interesting, because the it first is. trait goes off Avengers, second one goes off X-Men here. After resolutions, choose a friendly character with the Avengers keyword within range. The chosen character gains power cosmic until the end of your next turn. So when somebody with X-Men hits, you can choose a friendly Avenger. So this is a set that I think is, is very really much insane. designed to play with itself. Right. To play with itself and kind of the other box yeah. to an extent. But yeah, mm -hmm. they need both Avengers and X-Men to work off each other to make it work. Yeah, the most. That's, that's kind uh, of cool. They get, yeah, cosmic kind energy. Of wild. Huh. I, uh, I'll be honest, I did not read it that way the first time. Here's the back of the card, guys. 
Uh, go, just re reviewing that, when a friendly character with the X-Men keyword hits, after resolutions, choose a friendly character with the Avengers. Avengers keyword. So they don't need the X-Men keyword to get the grant. No. It's just an X-Man needs a hit to give it to Avengers. Yep. And I believe every figure in this set, if I'm not mistaken, has both X-Men and Avengers. Yes. Okay. So it's the Avengers box sets. They all have to have Avengers. And then I guess it's the Hellfire Gala. So they're all invited to the X-Men Gala things. So they all have X-Men, I guess. That's kind of the idea behind it. That would make sense, yeah. Some Dial H behind the scenes. Calder has that jacket. I don't know if I mean... Oh, her jacket? Her jacket. Oh, oh, so I, I, like, I looked down at the jacket I was wearing, and I was like, yeah, I do own this jacket. This is, I mean, I'm this not, is my it jacket. It rented. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, next up on the list, guys, would, we have Spider-Man. I'd be down to own her jacket. Pretty cool. Just keeping space in your pockets? Yeah, bro. I got a galaxy. I got a galaxy. I'm strapped, bro. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man's also a hypersonic piece. This one's a very different Spider-Man. He's very fun. So he's got four hooks, super senses, hypersonic. He's in cap the entire dial, two damage the entire dial, four range, triple targets. He's very thwip, thwip, I'm going to web you up kind of a Spider-Man. So mm -hmm. high fashion, geometric, glow-in-the-dark webbing. Very cool. When a friendly character, the X-Men keyword hits and a 5-5 five five is rolled, until your next turn, hit characters can't remove action tokens except by clearing. Mm. So, so this one's less keyword specific. It is less keyword specific. So he affects more so opposing characters than giving mm -hmm. something nice to friendly characters. I don't know. This is kind of neat. I, I like the idea that he is a very, you stay tokened up, I'm webbing you, webbing you. Mm -hmm. His pose is very uh, Plays into the set you. very heavily yeah. as well with it. You know, the, the big effect of like shutting down action token removal, potentially on three characters. Uh, because yeah. he's got that triple target. Won't lie. Uh, Spider-Man might have the weakest drip out of everybody in the Hellfire Gala. I'm not in love. Yeah, with the, the body gloves suit. are um, strange too, and and he's got eyelashes or something yeah. on his on his mask or the top of his eyes. I guess are webby. So yeah, I don't know. Spider-Man's drip. I'm not in love with it. Yeah, Captain Marvel's we drip. should give everyone a drip rating. Yeah, that's very important. I, I'm giving Captain Marvel solid like eight out of ten. The eight pants ten. are fire. Yeah. Uh, that red stripe going down the side, keeping like literally galaxies in your coat, yeah, uh, goes pretty hard. Uh, Spider Man, dude, he's got like a four. Yeah, I'm thinking four too. Yeah, he's like a four, dude. It's uh, the like the accents on the costume. I'm yeah. not digging the webs on the feet and the hands. It it's just not there, guys. Let us know your opinion if you want to disagree with us on this. Dial wise, I think this is another figure where I'm not even considering the lower line. I don't. I don't like the lower line. I For think, thirty uh, more points, I might as well have hypersonic and then fifty fifty yeah, senses. There's better no stats, like to. plus one across the board. Yeah. Nineteen senses with wild cards. You can copy Wonder Woman and be a three through six. That sounds fun. Yeah. But yeah, uh, drip report. It ain't looking good for Spidey. Yeah. Let's exactly. check out the back of the card. Let's see if his damage special can save his drip. Warning, it can't. Can his damage special will save his drip? My fashion senses are tingling. They should be. They Your should. fashion sense is horrible. They should be. Uh, he does give him probability control, but Spider-Man can only can allow. What the heck? Spider-Man can allow use it to reroll. Also. Oh, jeez. I mean, stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man can also use it to re-roll his super senses and willpower rolls. So that's actually really good. For the re-roll on the senses. Yeah, staying I'm on the definitely senses. going higher dial now. Yeah, 100% going Let's higher. Let's flip back to the higher dial here. Uh, yeah, definitely more interested in the higher dial with the damage power allowing him to re-roll the senses. Yeah. That is, that's really nice. So yeah, Spider-Man. Still can't save his drift. Drift's 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Ah, uh, dial... Well, we're not doing a dial rank. Not either. really. No. It's like fine. Yeah, he's it's all like right. Fine. I think it's a solid 75 points, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Next up we have, let's see. Do Black Widow. Let me transition everybody. Oh, I gotta shut off Spider-Man first. Okay. Boom, Black Widow. Uh the damage output on this figure seems kind of crazy. So her gala, yeah, high fashion, black bodysuit, and red lace veil. When a friendly character with the X-Men keyword hits and a 5-5 was rolled, until your next turn, characters can use Super Senses and, if they can already use Super Senses, instead increase the result of their roll for Super Senses by plus one. That's really good. And on, so let's check keywords here. When a friendly X-Man hits, until your next turn, friendly characters can use Super Senses. So no keyword wow, requirement okay, here. that's kind of interesting. She's also got Shield, Assassin, Martial Artist, Spy. Uh, assassin is a keyword I love to see. I like working with the Ra's al Ghul of the world. She also sees through stealth. 
Uh, everyone has the Avengers TA in this box set, I think. There might be one or two people who don't. Uh, we've got two specials down the entire dial. Yeah. She's a 12 for four on both dials. I'm liking yeah, the lower line. starting here. 12 for four. Yeah, I think you might as well just lower start her lower. Really? Take really the good. minus, not even minus one across all stats. Like, she's still 12 for four. She's 12 for four top and low. She mm -hmm. just loses one on defense. Yeah, I don't know. I think the lower line's the way to go for 45 points, giving everybody on mm -hmm. your team super senses when a 5 fives roll. It's really good. Stats aren't that different. Minus two movement, minus one. Yeah, I think I'm playing two of these at 90 before I'm reaching for just the one. I agree. And I think, you know, we should probably know what these specials do before fully evaluating it, guys. So let's take a look at the back of the card here. We've got a move special, which is move without being seen. Running shot, stealth. When Black Widow uses running shot, after resolutions, generate a smoke terrain marker in her square. Ooh! I like that a lot, actually. actually. It's really helpful. Wow. Kind of get your stealth wherever you need to. And then combat reflexes, senses, both great defense power. Senses very nice. Very expected with her high fashion trait. Right. So, yeah, senses, combat reflexes, running shot, stealth. Very Black Widow. Uh, what I do kind of like, and I know some people might dislike, is that these dials are very, like, to the point. Yeah. I think new players could pick up this set do well with them, and also understand the game while doing well with them, which I think is important. You want to have some figures that are, you know, a little more point and click, but also have uh, these fun traits that kind of flesh them out more. So Black Widow, out of the three we've seen, I think this is my favorite so far. Um, once again, I saw these mm -hmm. pictures. I knew we were going to do a live stream tonight, so I haven't looked super, super closely. I didn't look super happy here. <laughs> Drip Report, what are we thinking? You know, it's better than Spider-Man's, but I don't love it uh, mm. it's it's like a big what she got a big ponytail she has her big widow symbol. see i think that's like a daredevil mask uh, that is kind of sick then it actually. is kind of cool i'm gonna uh, it's seven? not captain marvel it's, it's like not a seven or six i'm, I'm at the seven i'm yeah. at the seven i think uh this is a pretty cool costume i like that her chest piece is literally like the black widow yeah yeah the symbol, know, symbol with her like kind of almost like lace yeah, yeah. What's not doing it for me is like the one of those bone things on her hands. Those are kind of weird. Well, those are yeah, kind of supposed to be how her wrists yeah. have the widow's. I don't really thing. like the look of that. Yeah, thing. I'm not in love with that on her hands either. Her hair mitt. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. Hair mitt gets yeah. Hair mitt gets the seven. Yeah. All right, Calder. I know you're itching to talk, talk about, about this one. A couple of freedom fighters. My yeah, boys. Give me, give me a moment here. Yeah, by all means. Go ahead. Start ripping. But I am very excited about Falcon here. It's really cool. Um, so. He is Avengers Heroes for Hire, X-Men, and Soldier. Same gala invite thingamabob. I like his dial. It's a little different than we've seen with the other gala dials. His lower line's a little shorter than the rest. He does have some improved movement, which is really He's also cool. less points, though. He's 40. Yeah, he's only 40. Now, what was it, like 45 or something? 40. I think everyone so, has yeah. been 45 so far. So Falcon's only 40 at lower, and he has the same speed value at lower than he had, does at top, and that's really important for quite a few reasons, actually, but we'll get into it in a moment. So his high fashion is a shawl collar, Shawl collar suit and red tint glasses. Uh, I like Falcon's drip. We won't get into too much, but it's red, white, and blue. So I'm a big fan of the red, white, and blue look uh, for him as like Captain America. He's Captain America right now in comics. It's really cool. So when a friendly character, the X-Men keyword hits and a 5-5 is rolled, at resolutions, place a standard friendly character up to three squares away from its current square. So no keyword no, check. No keyword just check at standard. all. Standard, so they can't be big, can't be moving uh, bystanders or giants or anything. So I really like the fact that his 5.5 five is more of a movement-heavy thing. Falcon's always been a very movement-heavily designed character, just like that's really fun. So yeah, just being able to be like, all right, you're going to move three squares, that's really solid. Um, and then his reverse side, or the flip side, I should say, he has his special speed power, which is special delivery. It gives him charge flurry. It's not Falcon, so with Avengers, he's a 12 for 3 precision strike on both lines. Uh, charge flurry is really sick. And then when Falcon uses charge and carries, a carried character may be given the, clo the close as free or make the close attack instead of Falcon. So it's like pseudo the other Falcon. It's very, it's very mm -hmm. interesting. Uh, where it's like they can be given a closest free or make a close attack instead of Falcon. So he can pick up maybe someone that doesn't have moving attack. The comma placement is really screwed. When really Falcon weird. uses charge and carries, yeah. a carried character may be given the closest free so or make the close attack instead of Falcon. I understand yeah. what it means, but it's like, why is there a comma after carries? Shouldn't it just be when Falcon uses charge and carries a carried character? Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and carries. Anyway. Carry no, that's a sick yeah, ability. Yeah. Uh, 
very, I mean, this is a better dial, I think, than the A60 one that carries at full move. I know this is a charge, so yeah, it's a so half-speed it carry. But also, um, having the full dial of enhancement is nice. This is a great position piece. But the fact that he's also just charge blurry precision. Yeah. Uh, really quick, guys, he has flight on the dial. I've seen a lot about it in the comments right now. Uh, he's got flights on his dial. He just doesn't have it uh, on the front of the card. His special speed power says flight. Uh, usually the dial trumps the card almost always. So, yeah, like, he's going to fly. Falcon flies. Dude's got wings. I it's this whole thing. So, just want to fly. Yeah, I really, really like this Falcon. I think he's really cool. And we'll see later, but he plays well with the Captain America we're about to see. I also like that this Falcon mm -hmm. has enhanced. But he's close combat base. It's kind of curious. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, drip, though. I like Falcon's Drip. I like it more than Black Widow's. Oh, yeah. But I don't know if I love it as much as Captain it, Marvel's. It's not standing out as much. It's So him and Captain America very much have a normal drip, where it's not like Hellfire Gala yeah. drip. Wearing black like, pants with that suit. It is weird that he's wearing black pants. I do like the blue tip I'm giving on him the like, shoes. I'm giving him like a 6 out of 10 for the pants. I'm giving him a 7. I'm, I'm not him the same as Black Widow, because I really like... The glasses are what's I love the glasses it. so much. Uh, I love the glasses, and I really like the suit jacket the most. Sure, but I do agree the pants kind of flow, like kind of throw pants, off everything. You can't wear you can't wear black with blue, guys. Like, come on, That's fair. just you wear gray instead. Maybe brown That's even. That's like, fair. Ooh, I don't know, like, like brown, brown shoes in a blue suit looks good. I guess so. Yeah, brown shoes, blue but suit black, look good. black shoes in a blue suit. Come on, fashion suicide, yeah, baby. You know, they, these are pro tips from your stylist at Dialing. Oh, geez. Oh, gosh. Uh, I think next we're going to talk about the most, I think, the most impactful figure yeah. in this entire box. Because um, I had a few people message me about this. So this is the one I've looked at the closest. And that is Scarlet Witch. Holy cow. Mystical keyword. Boom. That's fantastic. Avengers, Brotherhood, X-Men. Oh, excuse me. And she has the Pretender Becomes the Redeemer. So... Her trait's not even talking about her drip. She doesn't have the drip. I know. Like, she doesn't have the drip mentioned in the trait. I do oh, just wait. like that a little bit. Unless. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, never, okay mind. never mind. Never mind. But guys, this trait's crazy. When Scarlet Witch is KO'd, after resolutions, you may generate a friendly character of less points than Scarlet Witch from your KO area into your starting area on their last non-KO click. Then roll a D6 and heal them equal to half the result. Protected Pulse Wave. At, I'm not even looking at the hundred point line. Like, yeah, don't care. literally, who cares? Forty points. <laughs> so it's just, it just is what it is, guys. Yeah. I'll play other figures in the set at hundred over an ESD piece. Sorry, that's reality. Uh, if you like Scarlet Witch, though, you know, do what you want to do. But she's got a special movement. She has TK Perplex. Uh, is she a flyer? She is a flyer. A flyer. I mean, TK Perplex is fantastic so for good. forty with this trait. So dang good. She's going to kind of force your opponent to KO her first. Otherwise, she's going to be oh, making she people. Have, she has a little tiny mystic symbol there. And then she has mystics there. Interesting. Is that how the rest of them are? No, there's no way. It's just a little goofy. Yeah, guys, check out that, that little uh, mystic symbol huh, near her circle. Did somebody comment that? No, I just oh. noticed it right now. <laughs> I just saw it. I was like, oh, wow. It's kind of funky. Her high fashion, though, is beaded headdress and starry hair. When a yes. friendly character with the X-Men keyword hits and a 5-5 was rolled, let me transition. Sorry, guys. My apologies. How rude of me. How not high fashion of me. Not high fashion at all, dude. Um, no. Oh. oh. Wrong girl. Wrong girl. Did I label it wrong? Oops. That's She-Hulk. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I think I put She-Hulk in twice. All right, guys. Well, we're only going to see the front of Switch's okay. card. My bad. <laughs> Anyways. When a friendly character hits and a 5-5 was rolled, after resolutions, choose a color and a hit character. The chosen character can't use powers of the chosen color until the end of your turn. So wild. So outwit, that is an outwit that goes yep. through power cosmic. Through cosmic energy. No keyword checks, nothing. She just, uh, when a friendly character is hit, you don't get to use this anymore. Hey, Kong, no impervious. So you... Dang, <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah, no kidding, actually. Jeez. Like... It is a stand... Yeah, no, it's a color. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. Are special, are special boxes technically white? Or are they just I don't think you color? can pick white. Okay, then never mind. But then her move special is phasing teleport oh, good passenger two. Because of course, she's just... I think this is a common case where like, the lower line was the main focus. There's of some Scarlet Witch fans at, at 
with I'm seeing right? a lot. I'm seeing a lot of Scarlet fans in the in the stream right yeah. now. A lot of people are popping off. They're they're like, this is the reason I'm buying this. Blah blah blah. Like, four damage side blast though. Let me tell you right now, uh, Rylan. There's multiple people in this set with four damage by, plus, uh, side blast, and I think they're better. Yeah, so. I think Captain Marvel's a better four damage side blast piece. Mm -hmm. uh, Drip though, is this our first like? This 10? a ten, dude. Dude, yeah, that's what it's I gotta say. This has got to be a ten. The yeah. the hair walking on. Don't play on with her Scarlet hair. Witch. That's a ten. Uh, it's yeah, easy ten. She's got space in her hair. She said, "Oh, not in the suit. Maybe it's in her suit too. You don't know." Yeah, but it's no, definitely Scarlet there. Witch, easy ten. That looks like, dude. Imagine showering with that much hair. Dude, you'd be in there for four years. Wow, dude. She's Rapunzel. She's come out a new man. Yeah. yeah. She's dripping it out that tower, which is drip technically. Correct. The Rapunzel Correct. Correct. Max and Correct. Correct. Rapunzel. <laughs> Max, uh, Jesus. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, old Shulk. Dude. Talk about she Hulk's yoked out of her mind. She Hulk was. Uh... I believe this is from the storyline where Ryan Redman becomes She. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Ryan, if you're still here, I'm sorry for that. There is there is something else dripping out of a needle. I think before She Hulk like came to her, the her drip was made in the lab, <laughs> dude. Uh, before we get into her her drip, though, uh, I do really like the sculpt for Shield. It's insane, but Shield is a just close combat beat stick, charge, super strength, close combat expert. The whole dial, she moves on to some quick. Her high yeah. fashion twelve attack is her BCE twelve attack TC. She's hitting you a thirteen for five super strength, probably a thirteen for seven. Interestingly yeah. enough, she has improved targeting. Yeah, ignores blocking characters, uh, destroys blocking. She goes through it, hindering. Uh, which is kind of interesting. I'm so sure that is probably <laughs> meant to be movement. He deserved that, don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, It's not meant for her movement, though, because improved, tar improved movement hindering isn't real. Oh, I guess you're right. That is true. It's not a so this is a this is. So I guess when she chucks something, when she mm -hmm. throws a heavy object at you, she's just going through all that. Maybe stuff. in the comics she did that. Maybe I have, to be I honest, I've never read, read the Hellfire. Yeah, yeah, I've never read Gala. So her high fashion is the pearl belt and rimless sunglasses. Is that what the thing around the sunglasses is called? Are they rims? Are they I rimless? Guess, yeah. I guess so. The um, metal thing. So when a friendly character, the X-Men keyword hits and a 5-5 is rolled, after resolutions, hit characters can't use outwit for flex or probability control until your next turn. So notice this. It is hit characters, not a hit character. It is hit characters. So if you quake somebody, quake a whole team, 5-5 oh is rolled. No. No one gets perplexed, prob, or outwit until your next turn. Wow. So I think there's kind of ways to break this high fashion ability. I wish she would have started with Quake on her lower in order to yeah. do something like that now. But, you know, we'll kind of that's, see. That's crazy, though. She's also a wild card. Um, the special defense yep. power we'll take a look at here. Give me one second, guys. She also just has, like, a ton of keywords. This is wild. Yeah, this, this is another just really uh, strong figure. But then her defense power is invincible, so it's beauty, brains, and brawn, which is invincible, <laughs> super senses, and protected outwit. So I guess brawn is invincible, brains is protected outwit, and beauty is super senses, or something to that extent. So, But then having, yeah, senses, protected outwit, uh, play Gaul with Spider-Man so with nice. her. She can copy Spider-Man. She can copy Avengers, kind of mm -hmm. whatever you need, whenever you need it. Uh, it's really, really, really good. So yeah, fourteen click. Yeah, fourteen attack top dial with the Avengers. Avengers. Yup. So it's yep. kind of nuts. But now you're chewing through a protected outwit senses and invincible the entire time until you get to those last three clicks. Yep. So shield is quite the dial to hit through. Uh, the I like improved targeting is is bizarre. It's very interesting. <laughs> I wish you would have maybe had. She also has steps. eight thousand keywords. She's yeah, got dude. Lady Liberator. Fantastic Four heroes for hire. Celebrity Lady Liberator. Shield X Men. An insane, a ridiculous amount of keywords. I don't know. She's got a ton of keywords. So. so I don't know who she's working with at this point in the comics, but apparently a lot of know. people. Uh, yeah, I think the protected on her defense power really steps her up. Yeah. Ultimately, sure, she's just a charge piece, but I mean, that high fashion trait could really come in handy. I think so. I think you probably play her for the most part at 40 to try to get that to oh, yeah. knock off. But I think casually, and then like to really just give your local venue some pain, play her at Oh, yeah. dial. Sounds like a good time, man. Uh, drip, I think she's like a nine. I don't think she's quite touching Scarlet Witch levels of drip, but I love the pants. I love the SH chain belt she has. Love love the sunglasses. She's got the lipstick going on, the high heels. I think she's a nine for me. Okay, okay. I like her a lot. Uh, I'm digging the glasses. Kind of given a Vegeta over 9,000 scouter report okay. on, the, on the, the check it's there. Over nine, yeah. Yeah, I'll 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 level with you there. That sounds good to me. You nice. know, she's you know, she's doing the minimalist look. 
She's showing up to the venue true. saying, I don't, I don't need to prove anything. She's showing, she's worked really hard for the rest of her yeah. outfit. And she's showing she off has. the stuff that she's worked hard mm-hmm. for, you can tell. No question about it. I mean, dang. The we got two more cuts. figures to cover. We do have two more figures and to cover, Ian. I, I, uh, I like that these are the two that we wanted to talk about the most. <laughs> I 100% agree. I like the way this guy took his pictures. He knew how he wanted to. He knew, he knew Dial H was going to talk about it. He's going to stream later. this for real. Uh, but I will. I, I will start off. Also, the longest dials. Oh, they are. Oh my gosh. Wow. And uh, yeah, obviously. Of course. I mean, it makes sense. And okay, the next one we're about to talk about, guys. Let me go back to the main cam for a moment. Main cam. Main cam. Main cam. Get the hands ready. The next one we're about to talk about. Um, I don't even think we need to do a drip scoring for. No. If you want to look up the definition of drip in a dripionary, you will find a picture of this man. So let's just get right this into it. This is like off the scale. We said Scarlet Witch was the 10. He's better yeah. than Scarlet Witch. I mean, this guy says, this guy's like, I don't, I don't even deal with numbers that low. Yeah. I it is Dr. Drip himself right here. Holy cow. So he does, yeah, does have the longest dial of 10 clicks, 100 points or 45 points. Minions of Doom TA. He is a flyer. I know it says that. Um, right off the bat, four range double target. Not in love with Doom having four range, but you know, so be it. It is what it is. Uh, yeah. Smaller maps, yeah, it's it's a little bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Uh, he does have a high fashion fur cloak and royal armor. When a friendly character with the X Men keyword hits and a five five was rolled, until your next turn, friendly characters have minions of Doom. So this is very much a piece that you probably want to do your first attack with, especially if you're kind of in the midst of battle. You know, to give everyone a chance to heal on KO, which is very nice, uh, especially when you get to pick who the character is healing. Uh, that team ability is, I think, one that's a bit underutilized, so being able to hand it out. It is. Pretty cool with. The stats on this piece are really solid. Like, the 12 was Psychic Blast and 4 damage. We have some specials there as well. Uh, really digging that. We'll just go ahead and jump into those specials. The defense ability is Mastermind and Invuln. Uh, no protected outwit on this one. So She-Hulk gets it. Unfortunately, Doom did not. Not going to lie. Also, a little bit of a bummer, but hey, is what it is. Damage special is leadership and outwit. And then that is when an opposing effect would replace a die in a roll, you may roll a D6. Four through six, the replacement is ignored and the roll is immediately finalized. And that is Doom does not compromise. I do like that effect a lot. Playing in like, you know, with the existing Gala set, potentially the future Gala set, and then this set as well, being able to say, like, I don't know if you're going to get to do your high fashion trait. Yeah. I think that's a good antithesis to, like, the design of this box set with him being... I like that he's the villain the of the box The only villain, set. yeah. yeah. Um, also, another thing is, like, leadership. If you guys build... <laughs> if you guys build teams, lol. <laughs> uh, he has Avengers, Latveria, X-Men, Armor, Mystical, Ruler, and Scientist. Having leadership access on a dial that is a potential counter has outwit as well. Some energy explosion with good stats. I think Doom kind of falls in the category of Elsa Bloodstone, where he may be a silver bullet to certain metas. Yeah. I could see him being particularly good in Silver Age, as die replacement runs a bit more rampant there with things like Q-Prime. But as it stands right now, dice replacement is not really a thing in the modern game right now. You have things like Orb, Mr. Sinister, uh, Spiderling from the box set, but outside of that, there really isn't a ton of dice replacement. So yeah, um, it's all shifted to pulp, which is kind of wild. You know that we noted before, but he's a piece that I'm I'm gonna say out the gates, you're probably not gonna play him. You won't see him like making huge waves in meta play. But if dice replacement becomes a strategy that's like very optimal, Doom might be a piece to reach for. And yeah, chief leadership. I think top yeah. dial. I would be a lot more interested in him if he had that protected outwit on the defense power. But without that there, man, this Doom could get gutted pretty easily. So the sculpt is a 10 out of 10. The dial is, it does it for me. It's almost there. I'm excited to play it. But uh, there are a few things that I'm just, you know, not huge on. But that's okay. Yeah. So I like him a lot, though. I think he's really fun. I like I the two targets, though, at the very least. I like that he's got a bunch of different attack powers. It's very Doom. Ah, here's some magic. Here's some uh, lasers from my yeah. fingers. Little MVC3 little laser action going <laughs> Dude, on. Yeah, that, that attack know? rock. So I kind of dig this Doom, and also he just looks like an amazing piece. So I oh, think yeah. casually he's going to be really fun to build teams around, even if you're not taking him to the most highest top tier competitive events uh, <laughs> locally, and then just messing around with him playing games at home. I think he'll be a blast to play. So I really like it. Yeah, man. I, and then this is a figure, if I'm to grade it, I think 
more than likely if i'm playing this figure it probably will be 45. yeah just in modern that's kind of the way it has to yeah be. i mean even like casually i think i'm still leaning oh, towards uh yeah wow i'm still leaning towards uh the 45 line just because, yeah, I mean, like, one outwit just can ruin this guy's day. and That's that, just such a bummer. Yeah, it's a bummer. But other than that, I mean, I like the figure. I like the overall design of it. I think it's pretty solid. Yeah. So we'll go into the last one in the box set, guys. If you give us just a moment here. Boom, bam. That's the man himself. My main man, my boy, uh, Captain Drip himself. We have Captain America sporting way less keywords than everybody else. He's just Avengers, X-Men, and Soldier. Uh, they were like, ah, every other team he's ever been on in his entire life. Nah. Nah, he's all about, <laughs> he's all about the party tonight, I guess. So, uh, Cap's a really simple running shot leadership piece, but his biggest thing is his defense power, which we'll get into here in a second. But his high fashion is red stripes, white shirt, blue coat, red, white, and blue. I dig that. When I, I wish he had a blue collar on. Oh, um, so, blue collar? <laughs> yeah, so you oh, blue, blue collar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would have been awesome. A physical blue collar. Oh, man. <laughs> So, Cap, when a friendly character the X-Men keyword hits in a 5-5 is rolled, you get action total plus one? That's pretty... Ryan? Yo, hey, quit sipping that haterade. Get on out of here. You don't take the shield to the party. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't take, take the shield, shield to, the to the party, party. Ryan. Anyway, be a, be a hater, but yeah. your rude interruption one of, will continue. One of the few ways to get action total plus one in modern right now, so that's pretty sick. <laughs> Damn. Dang. All right. All right. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, oh, dude, he's, oh. he's oh, popping oh. off right now. Hot dog, you know. But you know, really, what what attack power is the shield? I never. See, here's the way I look at it: is that Dial H is a Barrett fifty cal, and Ryan's a pellet gun. I agree. I agree. So, pew, pew. oh, he doesn't have a shield. And we're over here. Yeah, <laughs> my shoulder. Oh, way I'm firing. Yeah. This. Oh yeah, dude. Shoulder bruise. You don't want this. You don't want this, Ryan. You don't want this, Ryan. You don't want this. You can't see us right now, but we're cracking our neck. Cracking our neck. Yeah, hear that? Yeah. Might have. Anyway. Anyways. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's one of the few ways to get a plus one action total in modern on top of leadership to let you do five actions in a turn. So That's I really, sick. really like that for Captain America. He's also just got four twelves chilling on his dial. He never goes mm -hmm. to a ten. He's an eleven or twelve the entire time. Uh, his stats are dope. So I really like that. Yeah, he outrages Doom. He's got. This Captain America's strong. He's punching he's 12 for 4, whipping. and he's whipping that shield. So, uh, But this is what I really like the most, is his special uh, defense power. We've all attended our fair share of state dinners. It gives him ESD. Captain America and adjacent friendly characters with the Avengers keyword take a maximum of 2 damage from opposing characters that have the team ability chosen for Avengers. So if the Avengers are going against the Mash of Evil, the X-Men... Spider-Man family, whatever it is. This whoever, box set. This box set. <laughs> whoever they choose, they only take two damage. So it's Captain America and just adjacent friendly characters. So it's not every Avenger on the map, but it's whenever they're next to Captain America, it's the ultimate defensive shield little shell that Cap's providing his team to get through the night of a uh, partying away, I guess. It's really cool. And then uh, he kind of finishes the quote here. Uh, this one just has more firepower and style so this state dinner's got a little bit and more that's referring to style. us shooting ryan, <laughs> ryan <Rip. laughs> oh my god uh and it gives him just simply leadership and empower so this captain america alone is already adding a, an action so uh kind of references earlier with falcon i like that falcon gives enhancement and captain america is a running shot piece i like that captain america gives him power and Falcon is a charge piece. So I think that's really fun. In yeah, if you play set. both, you get a little... You play both. There's a little the bit of, best of both madness worlds. there. So I like Cap. Um, this has been... People have referred to him as the Cody Rhodes of the set uh, because Cody Rhodes has the slicked back blonde hair. He's a wrestler. Oh, okay. He's a wrestler. Sorry. I'll add it in my uh, repertoire. He goes by the American Nightmare. Uh, I don't know if he does anymore, but so he's he's always had very star spangly kind of outfits and stuff. Uh, but Captain America's drip, American is, Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like the American Dream, he's the American yeah. Nightmare. Yeah, I like Captain America's drip. <laughs> Captain America's not a high fashion guy. He's a simple man, so he's just wearing a normal suit. He's got a little. He's got a three. Yeah, looks suit, like he's got though. a part time gig with Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> just just okay. getting like a six for me. Uh, and maybe that, a seven for me. He's getting yeah. He's getting a seven. Like I respect it. Honestly, I don't want Captain America in anything that's a ten though. If I'm being honest, that's not what Steve Rogers should wear. He's a simple man. He's gonna wear a suit. 
Mm. And honestly, he shouldn't even wear like it you burns. Heard that Collar is not a fan of drip. Well, this is the kind of drip. <laughs> this is the kind of drip. Drip within your means, people. Drip within, drip your, within means. your means. Mm -hmm. Doctor Doom is a very showy, flamboyant, whatever kind flamboyant. of person. Flamboyant. So he's going to wear this big, gash, gosh, garish, gaudy, whatever thing you want to call it, any other G word, you know, that mm, comes to mind. Garo fight. Uh, Garo fight, yes. <laughs> uh, this big, fancy, whatever thing. But Captain America, he's a hardworking man. He's a classic. And he's going to dress like American. he's going to a circus in 2099. And he's going <laughs> to... He's got a red. He's got a also red doing some stripes banking suit. there. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Anyways, Stunned very classic nineteen thirties style. Style was just a nice three piece suit. It's uh, yeah, it's very respectable. No, it's 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 fine. It's fine. It's just not not the best I've seen. That's a fair stance to say you don't want him absolutely drip godding on the haters. Very fair. Yeah. Uh, bedtime so. over here. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for the stream. Yeah. Thanks See for you. hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Literally opposite of true, Lady Mastermind has a full dial of only standard powers. He has a little... Ryan Redmond, was, that's in response to Ryan being a, a hater. Lady, He's calling Captain America Lady Mastermind in the set, which is oh. just false, which is wrong. Captain America is probably one of the strongest pieces in Lady the set. Lady Mastermind, honestly. who is that? I don't know who Lady Mastermind is. Someone forgettable like Ryan. Mm, yeah, let's know. never mention him again. Yeah, I agree. That guy? Who, agree. Wait, who? Who? Who are we talking about again? I don't know. I don't know. Could be anyone. But that's a Hellfire Gala set, guys. I can't wait to get it. I skipped the first Hellfire Gala set because I'm not an X-Men fan, but this one is all about the Avengers, and for some reason, Dr. Doom is here. So I'm all about this Hellfire Gala set. I think it's really fun. Matt, I like... say, what that cap do? Yeah. What that cap do? What'd he do? We, we, don't, know. we don't know. We, we just did that exactly. at the beginning of the stream. Oh, you want to you yeah. you know what this cap does, Matt? Mm-hmm. You kind of have an idea. You kind of have, have, have an idea, Matt. You kind of have an idea. Captain America wearing his army uniform. You know, he's never really worn that, though. Honestly, besides, like, his army uniform is, like... Unless he's going this. to, like, Chili. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Thank you for your service. Chili's. Yeah, I just want the disco. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want the... What is it, 10%? That's the cap I know. Yeah, 10% veterans discount. Mm -hmm. He actually almost never wears his, like, army, like, duds. His, like, well, I don't know what you would call it, but his, like, normal, like, camo or whatever. Ironically, he is found in ice wearing that. He did buy a Camaro at 26% uh, APR. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Oh, happy Friday, y'all. Oh, God. Hey, happy Friday to you, happy Sean. Friday. Thanks for tuning in. It's good, good to see Friday you, as too. always. Hey, we love Beetle. Married said that cap. That cap? This cap? Uh, he comes with an ID card. Comes with an ID card. This is the first legacy ID card. The uh, first ever. Yeah. I love that our team, shout out Matt Reed, Spencer Wright, and myself, we we chose a figure that. Fatigues. Fatigues. That's their yeah. call. Yeah, Cap really never wears those. He really doesn't. He's usually just wearing his, you know, Captain America suit. Uh, ironically, he is found in ice wearing them, which I don't know at what point, if they're under his cap suit or what it was, but they're over his cap suit when they find him in ice, which makes no sense, because he's as Captain America when the whole, and I'm not going to get into it. But anyways, that's the way he's always found in ice, for some reason, is wearing his fatigues. Cap doesn't usually wear those, and actually, in the first Hellfire Gala, sorry, Captain America rant, in the first Hellfire Gala, he's just wearing his Captain America costume because he doesn't want to dress up, and I think that's more in line for this, but this Hellfire Gala, if you didn't know, is all based off of sculpt, uh, not sculpt, sorry, variant covers for comic books. So mm -hmm. this Falcon, oh, that's right. that Captain yeah. America, that Spider-Man, whatever, whatever runs they were in at the time, this was just one of the variant covers for that run. So it, it's less of a, a real thing that happened and more of a, what if they had drift? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no problem with no spiders. Spider, no spiders here. <laughs> well, did you call the front desk? Well, obviously there's spiders. Love other traits were for the invite to the gala, making them different from the first gala box specifically, since these are all Avengers invited to it and not the actual X Men. Yeah, that is cool. really cool. So it's like I like that it's a once per game thing as well. Um, yeah, they all have a one invite. I mean, to most it. of the time, probably getting it off once will be good enough to yeah. have it be impactful anyway. So you know, yeah. No, I think overall, if I'm giving the box set a review, uh, one, I think the most important thing, I will buy it. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I cannot buy it. I also like the, the blue color of it more than the red. Yeah, so it looks I nice. Really like, it's it's very, very more cool royal blue. Yeah, color. Yeah, I like it a lot. So, uh, I think, so yeah, are you buying this? Is this oh, 100%, 100%, 100% buying it. It's got Captain America and Falcon in it. I, Maybe WizKids will send us one, so we'll only have to buy one. Calder nice. and I can split it. That'd be nice. And Simeon can... He can get his own. He's not Dang, on the live now. <laughs> savage. Savage. No, we'll pick up Ooh. a couple. We'll split it. And then, yeah, yeah, we'll each get our own box set. So, 
But yeah, no, this is definitely a product I want to buy. I think yeah. overall, oh, I wish Doom was a little better, you know, whatever. But uh, I'm giving it a solid, like, 8 out of 10. I think there's some really playable pieces in here. I think they're very fun. I think they're a great introduction for newer players. I think if I'm a newer player, this seems like pretty close to, like, a you should just buy this. Because there's I impactful think, think pieces. So too. Yeah. It's a good way to learn. The dials aren't, like... Super convoluted. Even There's like, no massive text. In a casual specials. game, you've got a bunch of characters with long dials, so you never lose a piece right away. And that's yeah. always the worst. When you're a new player and you like lose your favorite guy right away, clap. it hurts. Yeah. You know, so like having like longer dial figures is really nice. A little more back and forth. Uh, there is a lot of text on a lot of these cards and a lot of unique kind of. Thankfully, they're similar effects. though. That's that's what I was about to say. They're all at least similar, so mm -hmm. a new player can kind of grasp how the team should kind of work, which is really nice. Yeah. So yeah. I like, I like it. it. I, I think like it for a, a new player, this is like, a, I think it's a great pickup. And so. if you're an existing player, um, especially like with the how, like there's good mystical pieces in this. Mystical's crazy yeah. right now. That Scarlet Witch is nuts. That Scarlet Witch is really good. It really is nuts. And yeah, uh, yeah I don't yeah. know. I think overall, this is uh, yeah. buying this. And then, you know, I think you could give it an eight through 10, and I'd agree with you. I'm sitting at about an eight. And yeah, yeah, I don't I'm know. probably about the same. About the you same. Know? There's. I think Spider-Man 2 is another character I kind of yeah. wanted more from, looking at and setting that in. Uh, the standouts for me, personally, I think, uh, I really like Falcon's ability. I think that's one that'll lead to some interesting team building. Uh, Scarlet Witch, obviously, will be one that I play no matter what. So those three for me. He's going to look awesome on the shelf. Honestly, yes, he will. It makes me wish he had the green base to go with your green. Your oh, your my green my bases. selection of dooms. Oh, selection of dooms. Should that, really get you guys a close-up at some really point. Cool. Maybe at the end of the night we'll do a close-up on the shelves. We haven't really done that. Never done that. Yeah, I know you guys have been clamoring for what's beautifully displayed. Some people have asked. When is wow. Max and Sarah going to be <laughs> I was kind of joking when I said we were going to read the, the chat GPT of... Not, uh, I don't want to... Yeah, it's Calder doesn't silly. want to submit himself. We yeah, to the... we can if you want to, but uh, yeah. I don't know about the chat GPT dial H episode. We've had, in the past week, we've had two different people write hey, a screenplay of a dial H episode. Oh, that's during right. Like a... during, the, yeah. during the IPF fundraiser, Luke had us read that. Yeah, <laughs> Luke did that. He just watched it. Now there's actually been three because also Ethan has just typed out and submitted for a class of his uh, a dial H podcast he like wrote out a dial h podcast including like a few segments and he submitted it for class he said wow. it was truly wild that is uh it was truly wild i'm sorry oh no need to read lol oh, thank you <laughs> thank you oh man sorry max and sarah sorry you know, yeah the most bummer. quintessential members of dial h are the back of dial h sarah. max and sarah the behind the scenes <laughs> Nobody knows. Oh, gosh. Nobody knows. Yeah, the fact that no one knows who Max and Sarah are shows just how well yeah, they've been doing their they're, job. They're good. And we're just blowing them up right now. Mm -hmm. the their spot is a joke. It's also wild, probably. <laughs> well, they I know. know. They I think know. I hope so. I hope, I just... Spider Man no. can lock down Kong, though. That may be nice. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, I don't know. Him being like primarily an in cap piece is, you know, it's what Spider Man does, and it is cool. He's how I just want a little more have that are super strength punchy Spider Man. So I don't mind a Spider Man that focuses on no. flipping you. you it's know? just it's mainly like the lower dials, just all willpower. Like, that is a bummer. Yeah, losing super, at least one click of super senses. Because you yeah. look at a lot of those dials, a lot of them at least had one click. It, of their, ha it had a little of a hangover. A little bit of a hangover. First, yeah. He just goes boop straight mm -hmm. to willpower. It's a bit of a bummer. Yeah. Which he got 100% for, so Dial H is great for school. Because. Speaking of Dial H and school, well, not necessarily Dial H, but okay. Hero Clicks in school. Okay, there we go. I was like, what? Um, when I was in college, I did, I like went to a research study. I was a participant in it. You know, they paid you, so it's like, I'm a broke college kid. And we did an experiment where one day when you came in, they, they would give you either a placebo or this drug, oxytocin, and then you would do these activities. <laughs> And so then you, yeah. the goal was to see if oxytocin had like a certain effect, blah, blah, blah. I won't get into the details of it. But one day you go and you take a placebo. One day you go in and you take the oxytocin. And uh, you didn't know. It was blind for you. And then at the end of it, they asked you like, you know, do you think you were on the oxytocin on like day A or B? And so day A, I go in and they had me like watch these videos for like 30 minutes. And they were just like calm nature videos because oxytocin is like a chemical that like you emit when you like hug somebody or when you're close. Oh, so okay. it's kind of that like yeah. the warm feeling is what it was studying, okay. whatever. But uh, during the first day, 
I was watching these videos and I was like, well, I'll just build teams in my head. And I was having a really hard time like stringing together like pieces of it. I'm like, ah, oh, it doesn't make quite enough. Yeah, you know, I just couldn't get there. And then the second day, that's like literally all I was doing. I was like, I'm not even watching the video. Oh, so okay. They asked that's me after so the study wild. was over, they're like, so what day were you on uh, the drug? And I was like, oh, it was easily day A. And they're like, how do you know that? And I was like, well, I play this game called Hero Clicks. And uh, I wasn't able to build the teams and like, you know, do strategies as well the first day. I was like more distracted. And they're like, wait, what? So I explained to this researcher, like, so this is what Hero Man, Clicks is. And the fact that they had to like write those down in notes <laughs> for their study, that's so, so funny. somewhere out there, there is a research paper for oxytocin that mentions Hero Clicks, courtesy of me. <laughs> and uh, afterwards, when it was over, that's I so knew funny. this guy, like, he was a TA in one of the classes I was in as well. I talked to him, I was like, was I right? He goes, you were. <laughs> so, let's go. Let's go. let's go, dude. Right on. There's another research study I participated in that I can't talk about, but it involved a bag. You remember? Oh, that? yeah, I do remember the bag. Yeah. Oh. I actually remember this story. I was like trying to remember, but yeah, it hit me there halfway through. So, yeah, that was, uh, that's, there you go. There's a random fact. My favorite thing about Sarah is how creative. <laughs> I did a stats project on Heroclix dials trying to get close to the point formula. Ooh, Kevin oh, Nelson. Crappy? Like the, the point formula? Dr. Kevin Nelson. <laughs> Dr. <Doctor laughs> professor. <laughs> Kevin's like in a lab like yeah, he's like, what's vile? the point formula? What could it possibly be? Hmm. I don't think it has anything to do with food coloring, Kevin. You shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Just mixing. Oh, beakers. so funny. Ah, uh, yes, the oh, viscosity of this is leading me to believe oh. that psychic blast costs 10 points. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is ridiculous. What a shots-fired stream. Tonight. It really has been. Ryan, you caught really a lot of it. Uh, he wait, deserves sorry. it. He was, he was trying to get shots, though. Mm -hmm. He yeah. was. He was should not be named. He was trying to boy. get shots, bro. He was trying. Yeah. He was Miles, super... next custom shirt. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan with a BB has gun. A pellet gun. <laughs> Makes no sense. We're calling you out. Oh, goodness gracious. Jeez. Wow. Huh. Well, what a stream, ladies and gentlemen. I think I, think, I don't know if we have anything else to cover. So. I think we'll it's promote really about it. IPF in San Antonio one more time, guys. The prizing is on the way. That is the 28th awesome. of April. That is this next weekend, hosted by Azale on the Alpha Strike. Check out the IPF page for more details. Check out Azale's page, the Alpha Strike, for all the details. If you have any questions, you can DM directly. His name's Azale Campos. Uh, he'll answer your questions. But uh, yeah, it's 400 silver. It's going to be the 28th. Should be a lot of fun in prep for Hero Clicks for Huntington's. There's some crazy prizing, like absurd. Look yeah. at the picture on the page. I shared it to players and collectors as well. If that doesn't get you playing, dude, I don't know what will. That's on. some insane prizes. That's I wish people like that in my area had prizing like that. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty dang awesome. Did you talk about the maps? Oh, oh we did forget the maps. I'm not going to lie. All this right, was, all this right. was kind of an afterthought. Wow. We did save the pictures yeah, for the maps did, and everything, too. Well, I have the maps. Um, Thank you for the reminder. So. We have Scott Porter death map. Uh, he dies. Scott Porter. This is Scott a Porter walking, dies the map. <laughs> Scott Porter dies the map. So, a little mini story. This is in the from the Walking Dead Telltale video game. Telltale makes those episodic video games that like release one like I don't know probably like play for two hours. Oh, this is from the game. Yeah, it's from the game. I so, did you play the Telltale Walking Dead game? I played the Telltale Batman. How was that one? It was good. Did I play piano in it or something? Fun. Yeah, and there's a, there's so, a lot of like um, a lot of random stuff. Yeah, we, we don't need to but derail. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I have a lot of fun Telltale games though. Uh, so shout out, my favorite Telltale game is Strong Bad's Awesome Game for cool oh, dude, people. Oh, dude, dope. that game rocked, right? So, anyway, so this map is from Walking Dead, which is actually one of the few games me and my older brother played all the way through, and then we even played the later Clementine series. So we had a great time with this map. Uh, we cannot read the special text. Yikes, this is awesome. But anyways, it's a frozen over lake with some broken ice, as you can see here. It's got two different sides to the river. One with a little house. We've got a few other things. We have the Hero Horse for Huntington's logo. This is actually a map that I kind of want. I actually like this a lot more than the Speed Racer map. But there's some orange squares in it, and that's the ice. And then there's just water. So on the ice, so squ squares in the orange border are a frozen lake. At the end of each player's turn, that player rolls a d6. If a character in the frozen lake attacked this turn, increase the result by plus two. Okay. So on a six, generate a water marker in the square of a frozen character in the frozen lake that either attacked or was hit this turn. If possible, the water marker must be generated in a square that isn't water. 
Characters occupying water terrain in the frozen lake modify their combat values minus one. So, it only succeeds on a six. You only break the ice on a six. But if you attack, then that's a four through six. So it's now a 50-50 whether or not you break the ice, and then you have minus one stats while you occupy the water terrain within the frozen lake. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh so yeah so these are going to be available at the hero clicks for hunting tins <laughs> sorry guys Jeez. a little off screen oh my off -screen gosh fun. Uh, so no, this, this map, map's cool this is like the first map that has special text in like three four years it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's so long <laughs> Uh, and the effect is good, and it's right in the middle of the map, which is kind of where the meeting of the minds happen in most Heroclist games. So unless it is an Alpha Strike or a Turtling type of game, you're going to meet kind of somewhere in the middle. So this map makes you kind of not want to attack in the middle. You don't want to give up minus one stats. makes it easier for them to hit you next turn. The multi-elevation building, by the way, Very is so cool. Yeah. Well, like, oh, well, it's not actually... It's hindering two elevations. Yeah. Which is very interesting, yeah. So it's kind of like the first part of the house, and then, yeah. What a block of special text it is. It, it's it is, quite the block. It is quite the block of special text. I, it, at points, seems a little redundant, but it's solid. Um, the next map, I don't know if we even have this. I don't know if they're going to sell maps like last year. Oh, there's, year. The, there's like the variant edition. With oh, the, the variant does have blood on it, which yeah. is very... We didn't take a picture of that dead. one. Sorry, guys. Yeah, we didn't, didn't even honestly uh, realize that. Uh, so I didn't got either. Some, got some cool blood splatters all over the map. We're not showing it on screen, like you said. Uh, I actually like this version a lot more. So last year's version, I think it was like the car was black or something like that versus yellow. Yeah. This one we is actually blood. This is the variant one. That's oh, we do have the variant. We have yeah. the variant one as a studio. And it's been our studio map the entire time, actually. Yeah. It's been in the studio. Which in is addition, we have Barnstable's time. Wedding Map Barnstable's as well. Barnstable's Wedding, and then, uh, yeah, 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 that one. Then the American the Dream. The big American Dream. Actually, like, originally the Japanese Dream, if I'm not It was, saying. and that was, ironically, the only version I ever owned, which is truly wild. Uh, yeah, let me transition yeah. to yeah. So we've got the American Dream American right here. American Dream map. Uh, yeah, we even, won't lift it up. Really Barnstable's wedding. Barnstable wedding. And then yeah, the Racer X variant. Yeah. And yeah, we played on this map quite a bit just because it's the maps that we use for our tables. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we oh have even gosh. eaten on these maps. <laughs> no disrespect. That's true. It's, they're on the we, table. We play with our toys. That's what that toys. is. That's what happens. Play with our toys. Play with our toys. So. Uh, the next map. I actually don't know what this map is supposed to be. What is it? Uh, this is Major Brock's Bunker. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to? Uh, I'll be Major honest. Brock's Bunker. I don't know a ton about it. I saw some pictures of it. I actually didn't watch the entirety of the Scott Porter video. If I'm being honest, guys, uh, it looks really cool though. The multi elevation, like the broken into. There's a tank coming in, which so, is also elevated. That gives me but very. It's Three, three to, to four, four elevation. Yeah, there's a lot of elevation on this map. Three to two, map. and then two to one. Ah, it's very weird. Very this is a elevation. convoluted map, guys. Yeah. Um, one that it's going to be it's lower and lower, I guess. A really big pain to deal with when people are using barrier. What? I think there's going to be some strategies that this map is going to highlight quite a yeah. bit. Uh, the elevated, you know, especially with things like stop signs, shutting off improved movement. Um, also, like the traffic cones, or traffic barrels. Can't remember which mm. one it is that does that. Basically, the tarot cards that make you move in straight lines, this Ugh. is a nightmare map. The walls around the elevated is killer, dude. Yeah. I this is a bunker. That. This is uh, a bunker. Double wall, double elevated. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is Easton Brock. That's who Brock is. To, uh, mm -hmm. Brock's bunker is Easton Brock. Although the tank coming through reminds oh, me of... Oh, it's so sick. It's so, it's really sick. It reminds me of uh, the first Avenger, or Captain America, the first Avenger, when Red Skull drives his tank through that one building, like right in like the first scene. <laughs> sure. It's kind of cool. So, yeah, this map overall is a lot less of a point and click, I guess, like Scott's is, where yeah. it's like, meet me on the ice, dog. This yeah, is this uh, like a, a this is gonna be wet dream, dude. I think this is, yeah. this is like the meta players of the world's favorite. You're gonna see this map a lot, I think. I think Scott's map's more fun. Scott's this, map is more this fun. map is this map is more competitive. Really, this one is gonna be very much more competitive. Very much a I built a team specifically for this map. Yeah. Kind of map. This is uh yeah. 
My goodness. I don't want to play on it. I'm not going to lie. I don't really want to play on this map. <laughs> this map looks I, I want to play on this map, but I don't want to in like a competitive setting necessarily where it's like, all right. Yeah, competitive setting. That's almost 99% of the time you're going to play on this map. No, I like, the, I like the choice of colors. I like the way it looks. I like maps that aren't just like completely barren as well. Um, I don't yeah. like the figures that are going to interact with this and make it hard to traverse. So it's not the map that's the problem. It's the strategy it's that will come with the map. 100%, yeah. The map will be fine to play on. It'll be fun. I hope to own a copy of this one. But uh, yikes. Yeah, yeah competitively, man. you better gear up if you're uh, if you're in that boat. This map was Easton, Jay, and Jalen. Oh, this is a team map? Ah, I didn't know it was a team map. Okay. I thought this was for him winning Dang, Silver last What year. represents Jay and Jalen on this, though? Mm -hmm. Are they on the computers? Is there some milk duds? Is there a... <laughs> milk duds on this map for Jalen? Milk dud dud Jalen. All right. Anyway, guys, there are the maps. That's the map. They're pretty fun. So those are the maps for Hero Clicks for Huntington's. Check them out. I know I kind of almost wish I'd be making it this year, but I'm not going to be able to go. Uh, these are some pretty cool maps. Just means so. Mern is a must. That's a great point. <laughs> yeah, Mern is Back. crazy, crazy, crazy. Nice, Big bags. Uh, yeah, guys, um, if people want us to hang around and do a small shelf tour, we will we do can. that. Uh, if not, well, we can I think go we're saying goodbye. We'll get go some get some Casey's. favorite pizza. Uh, uh, I'm actually pretty excited about that. I'm actually kind of pumped. Yeah. Shelves might have to be another night, guys. If anyone has any questions they want to throw in here, we'll hang out for a couple Major's more minutes. Bunker. That's okay. I got it. Major Brock's. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't catch that. And yeah, his game store logo. I was curious what that logo was. His game store logo is on there. All right, makes sense. It kind of looked like the rain logo when I first saw it. You know, the energy drink. Oh, rain. rain. Yeah, it does look like rain. How it's it like different the... colors. As a reminder, guys, uh, every time you tune into the live stream, almost every time, anyways, almost we give away time. some stuff. Miles walked away with a double or nothing prize of 24 Star Fights uh, with an absurd guess. <laughs> we got a lot of them. Not as many as you think, but a lot. A lot. And then a Joker and a Broadsword as well for guessing that correctly. So every time you tune into Dial H, you have a chance to walk away with something cool. We ship it to you free of charge. That's right. Just please subscribe. Hit that bell notification if you want to know when we're going live, when we're making videos, all that jazz. Um, for some stuff in recency, uh, there are some more WizKids interviews coming out. I was working on those this afternoon. Those will get done either tonight or tomorrow. So be on the lookout for those. We sat down with Jake. Ryan, the new uh, OP kit coordinator yeah. that was hired. Brian Galley, who you guys know, you love him, the head of design. And then Jake, who is the CFO of the company. So right. we got some some pretty big hitters on we these got interviews. Some heavy WizKids hitters, ladies Also, and John Schreiner, who's the product manager right. over at WizKids. Um, we got to sit down and talk with all of them. It was very fun. James O'Brien, too. Geez, I think that's everybody. That is everybody that was able yeah. to appear in those episodes. Yeah. And the ones that are upcoming, I believe, we're talking about some set design. Or figure design. We, uh, we've talked about set design already. The upcoming yeah. ones are going to be very heavy on this year's plan for organized play and plan and mm -hmm. plans going forward with organized play, which I think is really cool. And then after that, it's specifically figure design, like dial design. So that's really yeah, cool. figure design. I was going to say yeah, it was one of the design. Two. Yeah, which is a little different than set design. As yeah. in overall, what we choose, what you know, kind of effects you want in a set. Uh, specifically just like figure design is really cool mm -hmm. and it was great to kind of scratch their brains about everything and kind of learn what is the i don't know behind the scenes for designing yeah. figures remove the curtain for a it. moment right? exactly kind of you know, peel it back just a little just yeah. a little so to kind of see what's going on back there so yeah these, oh. next, two, these next two whiskers <laughs> podcasts are really cool so i hope you guys just take the opportunity to get to learn more about not only the people that design the game but the people the that are kind of in charge of the game itself yeah mm -hmm. so it's really cool so full sure transparency on that guys these were recorded March, but it was like right before Adepticon. Yeah, it was right before. It was the week before Adepticon. I, like March eighth. Yeah, when the were next recorded. episode we may go over something that has, I think, since been spoiled. Yeah. Sadly, it was new to us at the time, so yeah. don't think we're being. So uh, these are about you yeah, know a month old, old, and you might ask, oh, well, what took so long? Well, there were some holdups, and then that's uh, there was this thing called life that got in the way as well. So life. I haven't been able to do as much video stuff as I would like to, but. <laughs> It's just busy, coming up on busy season in the hotel world, so I can't really do much about that. Um, but the interviews are fun regardless, and yeah, we'll get to, I mean, there's still new information, and there's yes. still a lot of fun stuff it's that, really cool. you know, we can't, we don't know, like, we can't cover. <laughs> so, yeah. there you go, kids. like, 
Uh, whiz kids is whiz kids breaking news and yeah. they know what they're doing exactly so it's really, it's really cool to hear from them and these episodes so i hope you guys really just end up enjoying it so yep like comment subscribe hit the bell notification mm -hmm. uh ladies and gentlemen dilation for hero clicks we do all these really cool things we do live streams we do once in a while uh we go ahead we do unboxing videos gameplay videos podcasts so much more so if you want all of your hero clicks content in one stop we shop eat casey's pizza make sure you dial h and mm -hmm. eat some casey's pizza ladies and gentlemen happy trails all stay right. dripped up this rate is... our drip rate our drip yeah Oh, I'm out dripping you. No, tonight. what are you kidding me with this? With this I'm guy out right dripping here? you tonight. With this? Are right, you? No way, you out dripping me tonight. Come on. Not even Comments. We'll leave them open. Comments. Tell me this Comment shirt below. isn't insane. You can't. You can't tell me this sweater doesn't rock. So you're getting out dripped on, dog. I'm not getting out dripped on. I'm out dripping. This sweater. Style H shirt. Yeah. Mm. I don't think I'm getting out dripped. I think you're getting out dripped. The stream's no still way. going. I stream is still going. No one's saying how good our drip is because they think we ended the stream. No, but... no, I think it's because we have it on a delay. We're waiting so... to see. We'll wait. We'll wait and see. And then we're going to leave. And we're going to go eat some gas station pizza. That's right. And we'll probably watch a bad Dracula movie. It's probably a great time. Listen, probably that's a night. That's a night play. That's a rat, baby. That's, that's a rat party. right there. Well, can, we get, can we get one drip? Con? One person to say anything about our drip? Man. Now we're going to stay still and you're going to think the stream's over. And called her with a. Oh! That's all we needed. Ladies and gentlemen, um, happy trails. That guy. No, no, no. no, no, no. People oh, guys don't like Firestorm. Oh, oh, baby. Insane. Oh, baby. That's all we needed. That's all Insane. we needed. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. People are entitled to be wrong. Thank you, thank enjoy you, your thank night, you. guys. Thank Actually, thank don't you. enjoy your night. No, no, no. Enjoy your night. Have a good night. Oh, especially. We got a okay, okay. Yo, that drip, though. That's a boat for both. That's both. That's both. That's both. <laughs> Ricardo, Brandon, thank you. Ian, nine out of 10. Calder, eight out of 10. Wrong, wrong. So we're tied. Wrong, wrong, we're tied. Wrong. All right. Next vote. <laughs> Next one's the final vote. The final vote. <laughs> I'm getting a call from the banker. No, you're not. <laughs> it says your drift's bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lucas is not one to hand tens out. You don't get a ten no. from the Hero Clicks headquarters easily. Farmers got to stick together. Ian has the better hat. And His well, hat. Will His hat. Good. The people of Walmart agree as well. <laughs> All Happy right, trails, everybody. Have a good night. night. Thanks.